Uh, oh, look at us. We're back. Holy shit. After a big weekend. I am uh, uh, without much of my voice left. It was a crazy uh, Halloween party. Easy Pavarotti. Uh, compa- I know. I was uh, I was singing a few karaoke songs a tad out of my range. You had a Halloween party. I did. I had a big Halloween party. Did anyone steal my idea and go, is uh, Matt, uh, Michael Douglas getting fucked by Matt Damon? <laughs> no. <laughs> from be- Matt Damon from over behind the candelabra. Big, a big... <laughs> Mannequin, like, <laughs> the, glued to the back. Matt Damon's head with that <laughs> long wig. And Mike and Michael Douglas. He's <laughs> literally biting the pillow. It, what a great... Have they decided great. on the winner of the costume contest yet? <laughs> I think we're like going to go... You're yeah. running like Norton. Wait a minute, Yeah, yeah. I'm Matt Damon, fuck. Yeah, Who he, are you? You're Michael Douglas, I guess. He Can't comes in. <laughs> Am I late for the party? <laughs> and you forget every Michael Douglas film with every thrust, like try- every thrust. It's <laughs> just oh wait, that's uh, that's uh, me and my lovely sister Dawn, oh, look at who without sister. any makeup pulled off a uh, black woman. <laughs> uh, she's uh, Lieutenant Uhura, and uh, there we are doing a little duet. Nice. I was, of course, um, you know, an X-wing pilot. Yeah, you were. Because I was in uh, jail. Was you look like me. You were. <laughs> you had the you had the same jumpsuit on. <laughs> I, got, I had. I spent a little time with the fellas, <laughs> the boys in blue. Uh, it, anti what is that costume. I'm sorry. That I am a, a, a from a Star Wars. Did you read Variety, Brian? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see the pictures from. The- I am a uh, an X-wing pilot. There is a Gavin McInnes, apparently wrapped in tinfoil. I don't know what his he happy, was. Is that his happy wife? We th- no, that was uh, that's a girl that works at uh, Fox News. Oh, okay. Who's that? Dana Perino? No, no. Um, is she on the uh, Tara? Tara Jakeway. Yeah, She's Tara, hard. one of the girls. Uh, is that uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald? F. <laughs> Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there she is, of course, with uh, Bill Schultz. And uh, Rick Leventhal, one of the uh, news guys over at Fox. He's like the back of Playboy when you right. see the pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. James Conn in an orange fur James coat. James Conn. <laughs> in a fur coat getting blown yeah. by a pool. So we got Rick Leventhal from Fox News uh, and a bunch of people. I uh, I don't know. There were, there were a lot of people. I just didn't even know who they that were. That is a Jew free now, party. Once again. Uh, yeah. Who is, what is that? Yeah, De- that De- Devin Rattray. Funny comedy. Devin Rattray and his friend uh, over there on that side. Uh, Devin is, uh, he was from Home Alone. He was Buzz, the older brother. Oh, oh. Macaulay Culkin. The guy on the left? Yeah, that's, get that's that guy. <laughs> the guy on the right was Buzz. Uh, no, yeah, the guy on the right. Right, right, right. Yeah, right The guy there. on the left was MCA and the Beastie Boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could have, could have been. Uh, but they, he, he year after year, he gets the theme of the party wrong. It was sci-fi this year, and he came as a Wi-Fi a uh, repair team, and, and they completely screwed up the party. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, with not no, we the first one we did was Jaws. He came dressed as Hasidic Jews, <laughs> because he said he, he didn't. I love to buy hat her off. He didn't understand. That's like my grandfather in the '80s was always one letter off. He called Bill Cosby the biggest racist of all time. Oh well, it was one letter. See, it's one letter. One fucking letter. One off. simple letter. <laughs> And now there's so many other people <laughs> in Hollywood okay, that could grandma. be that. <laughs> so many other people. It was uh, a lot of fun, though. Really, uh, another, another. Uh, it looks great. Great successful uh, party. No shenanigans or hijinks. No police showed up, uh, except for the ones that were there invited. Well, they were and, busy uh, arresting me with 80 SWAT and a SWAT team. Yeah, that's. Uh, Artie, Artie, you had a, a fun weekend. Well, I was questioned about some stuff. You were questioned. Yeah. Uh, you got to fold on the questioning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm afraid people think. Now everything's fine. Everything's good, though. If any of my cousins are listening, everything's fine. If anyone is in the scrap metal business at the port, <laughs> everything's run, fine. Run. I pretend that I didn't speak English. You don't, you don't know anything. Yeah, no, so uh, they embarrassed me in front of my... They did? They arrested me around the block from the stand. They said, was I that bad? <laughs> Literally, four cops. <laughs> and I said, all right, you know, uh, I'll come in. Were they, like, following you, and then all of a sudden, like, a van pulls up, and they throw you in kind of a thing? Yeah, they went to the 3rd Avenue and threw a rock, and they hit me. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, they were. They knew where I was. Yeah. Track of me. You were kind of easy to find. I'll sh- be at, you know, <laughs> comics are the easiest people I plugged it. to find. Where's he going to be? Well, you don't want to go to the, we don't want to go to Crackers in Indianapolis. If you don't know what he looks like. You may have seen him on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go to Crackers, so we figured we'd get you here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I wasn't under arrest. It was voluntarily. So oh, while so you were at like a big a, Hollywood party. You're like a person of interest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
That's more for my my agents weren't there. They don't care. When did uh, when did you get um, sprung, as they say? Yesterday, just as the, just as the Jets weren't covering. No, uh, <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> about six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. They decide to spring you. But should we, but to, should we introduce Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Regan is with us today. It's the greatest the bizarre comedian. intro I've ever had. Yeah. Greatest comedian ever is in the middle. We're talking about my jail time. <laughs> jail and... Well, I'm glad you're out of jail. Thank you, Mike. You too. You too. You too. In case no, you ever go to jail. You're bad you too, God. <laughs> if you say you too when you say you're glad you're out of jail. Nightmare appearance. I just keep doing his act. You too if you go to jail someday. You go to jail. <laughs> so no. Uh, How long were you in there? A couple about, days? About, uh, yeah, just under two days, yeah. I've never, I, I've never been. You've never. No. Thank goodness. All right, we get it. Thank goodness. Look at these, look at these two happy guys. Why do you want to be like these yeah, guys? Yeah, no, look at that. Right there. Oh, okay. They look like I'm still at the club. You look, you look. Artie's laughing. That's always my intro when people say, "What do you want me to say before you bring me?" <laughs> Tell him I've never been in jail. I've, you've never seen him in jail. This next guy. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> this next guy has never been in never the, been in jail. Never been to state prison. <laughs> never showered. That's, uh, that's John pretty Gotti. Good. That's pretty good. Over myself. It's a lot more yeah, than yeah. I, that's a lot more than me and uh, Franklin Ajay can say. Yeah, unless of course you've been having the people killed that could put you in jail. <laughs> Maybe that like that doesn't always mean you're a that, great that's guy. Case. <laughs> like Hillary Clinton, she should be in jail, and there's plenty of dead bodies around her. You want to confirm that? <laughs> you want to? You know she murdered people, right, Brian? <laughs> I know Brian. This weekend? I know Brian. Uh, Brian doesn't get very. Everybody knows this. Brian doesn't get very political. I know uh, that, and hey. I respect that. I don't either. I. I That's I'm fine. Terrible. Neither does Artie. Because uh, I don't know anything about. You're smart. I don't you just know talk about the news stuff like that, like the stuff that everybody knows. Like this whole thing, I guess we, we uh, are under the impression that a couple of people that worked uh, on Donald Trump's campaign uh, have been indicted right. uh, by uh, so the with investigation. The Manafort. Yeah, yeah. Worst hair piece ever, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hair dye. And, and he, uh, he's, yeah, he's in Dutch, as they say. A little bit of trouble. Uh, but it was for stuff he did long before what he was he with the campaign. Is there a statute Tax of limitation? evasion and oh. uh, uh, money laundering. <clears throat> from what I heard. Look at that hair dye. Money laundering. So what does that have to do with Trump? Nothing. Yeah. That's just it. Nothing. But everyone's saying, hey, look. Oh, look out. But well, he like, was his campaign manager for a while. He was there. Uh, yeah, before. Uh, he let everyone go before he was actually elected. He played that like a fiddle. He played it perfectly. Yeah. There's, they, he's the Teflon president. He really is. There's nothing you can really do about it. You don't want Sammy the Bull eventually around it. You're gonna. That is true. You'll get one of those guys like fucking pencil, Jared the Bull. Pencil fucking turn on him. I don't trust that Jared guy. Yeah, I Jared. I don't, I don't, he's giving him too much power. <clears throat> the brother-in-law or the uh, the son-in-law, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I, yeah, do. yeah. I don't. Know. But uh, yeah. she's that daughter is too hot. Oh my god. She has been smoking. hot forever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since what What age has she been? <laughs> uh, well, let me, uh, Woody? should I answer? Uh, <laughs> She's really beautiful. She's like that natural, you yeah, know. Should I give my answer or the Kevin Spacey <laughs> answer? <laughs> I, uh, She's very sweet, too. <laughs> How do you know her? No, Seams. On, oh, oh, Seams. I thought maybe you were, you know. Anybody could say that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were in show business. I thought you knew her. She I, does seem like. Get an exclusive. Yeah, I don't know uh, if she does. Very I smart, met, though. I met Paris Hilton once. Oh, boy. I was summoned to her dressing room because I, I follow her on Letterman, and she was afraid I was going to make fun of her. So her assistant came in and got, well, I'm getting my hair done. I'm trying to look decent. Oh, shit. And he goes, uh, Paris would like to see you. And I said, okay. I went in there and she smelled like all these imported soaps. Like she never washed with zest. You know what I mean? Like she, I, she just seemed. You didn't use lava soap? <laughs> you don't use her shampoo it's and made conditioner for a man, in but one. I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the Hilton family likes it too. Yeah, she, and she was disgusted with me. And I have to say, I was so turned on. I, I, yeah. I, I never want to fuck. I want to fuck more than any broad I ever met in my life. Ever. Like Did she you tell was, her that? Oh, in those words? She could tell. I'll fuck you more than any broad I've ever met. She could tell I was she was I was sweating her. Uh, I had a better yeah. shot of fucking her assistant, <laughs> <laughs> who by I think his name was Juan. Uh, but she she yeah. just was. You're not gonna make fun of me, are you? I'm like, no. Oh God. Uh, you know. Are you kidding? She actually had to do that. To yeah. It's like my. It's technically my job almost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to make fun of people. 
Uh, but oh, uh, she uh, she did, was did very you? like I hate to admit it because I don't want to give her that yeah. uh, that 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 wonderful news that Artie Lang wants to fuck her. <laughs> Deliver that. Bro. I don't want to put her up on her high horse. <laughs> that, that same news was when the doctor tells That's you to so sit funny. down. Yeah. Yeah. Something to tell you. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, when she's looking up, blowing that guy. Oh, geez. oh my God! And I'm looking at the I'm looking at the room service. She uh, yeah. <laughs> we, looking potato- at the trays in the background. <laughs> Are those potato skins? <laughs> I thought you were trying to say. Gotta fish. stay there, man. That looks like a wonderful <laughs> late night meal. I, I tweet her, Par- uh, yeah, Paris. This is at Artie, your lover. Yeah. Uh, are those potato skins? Next time, get your head out of the way. I'm trying to see what's on the room service tray. Get Kardashian's ass out of the way. <laughs> the, 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 oh, you're shit. sucking. I, I'll try to uh, narrow it down for you. It's the it's the tweet where you're sucking a dick. You're looking up at the guy you're blowing. It might be the Four Seasons. I don't know. <laughs> they are the potato skins. They're the meatball sliders. <laughs> they, they're, not the chicken, oh. they're not the chicken parm, but the La Quinta oh, Inn by the airport. That's so hot. <laughs> it's La Quinta Inn. Of <laughs> yeah, we had her on the, uh, the Owen A show once. You did, yeah. And uh, she was pretty, um, what do they call that, vapid, I guess. Right. You know. She had nothing. She had nothing to contribute You're stupid. Uh, to the show. And every question you ask her, she goes, like, well, what do you mean? Why would you? I know. She always looks like you're the guy you're there to put in the cable or something. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, I don't know. I mean, that's how she sees us all. Right. The well, guy that's here to put in the cable. I was there with Nicole Richie and her, and she was the second one. I, my, uh, fir- my joke was, I didn't even make fun of her. I said, Dave, when I come on, is there a certain weight limit you have to get to? Because <laughs> you were two chicks. <laughs> two chicks with bulimia in me. <laughs> Uh, and uh, <laughs> what did that kill? Yeah, I, I'm not. I don't doubt it. Uh, didn't. Did, did you? Well, you always did stand couple, up. Couple did did you always insist on doing stand up when you did Letterman and stuff like that? Because like you, they probably asked you to, right? Because you're so good at it. Uh, I, no, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like insisting like I had any power. That's what they wanted me to That's do. So you should have had power. You know? Did I, you like doing panel? Probably not. It's, I prefer doing stand up. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because I, I know how to, you know, I, I know how to handle that. The the panel thing was always. Awkward for it me. It is. It's it you, is. like on stage, stand up. It's it's your. That's your whole vehicle. Yeah. That's what you do. I completely oh, yeah. screwed one up. You I completely screwed a Letterman up on panel. Really, it was very embarrassing. What happened? I was. I, I did my stand up. I went over to sit down, and then he was going. You know how they do the pre-interview. Yeah, yeah. He was going to ask. So, uh, have you been taking care of yourself? And then I was going to do my eye doctor routine. <laughs> yeah. So he, instead of saying, have you been taking care of yourself? He goes, so you staying in shape? Oh, no. And my brain just was like, <laughs> I don't know how to get the eye doctor from this. Yeah, I jogged to the eye doctor. Well, I, 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 I stammered. I was like, ah, well, um... And then I took a sip out of the, you know, the Letterman mug of water, and I went, well, um, and then I thought I'd better just do it now. I said, I went, I went to the eye doctor, and he just looked at me, and he said, well, that'll keep you in shape. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. Taking a sip from the mug is always a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Like, let me do this. off everything. Hope yeah. something comes into play. Can we just stop and do this over? <laughs> if you say something offensive, he's like, let's move on, Artie. I think anytime <laughs> anybody takes a sip of water on one of those shows that, like, the directors are going, oh, no. <laughs> this guy don't know what he's about he, to say. He's going to say the N-word. He needs... <laughs> He's taking a sip and he's saying the N word. <laughs> Michael Richards. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. If somebody takes a sip, they should go, we'll, we'll be back right after this before, you know, so all hell breaks loose. The segment isn't long enough for you to work up a thirst. Yeah, right. You know, I'd love to answer you, but I'm very thirsty I'm right now. I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey uh, word of advice water in the green room. <laughs> I feel like Lawrence of Arabia. I, I do five minutes of stand-up. I come over here, and now you're talking to me. I'm, I, I'm thirsty. It just you try became, doing five minutes of stand-up without water. It did just become a staple of the talk show thing, the water. And he's intimidating because, you know, uh, like comics love him. Oh, he's great. He's so fast. He's great. Yeah, he, yeah. He could skewer you at any moment. And, yeah. And, and, and when you're sitting that close to him and he's looking at you like, you know, like he knew I was in trouble. Uh, he did? Yeah, he knew I was in trouble. And he did that. You know, when I said uh, I did the the le- uh, the eye doctor thing. Oh, look what they found. Oh, my hey, God. Are you God, it's my dick. Looked like you're staying in shape. I thought we were finished, and now I'm all flustered <laughs> here. Uh, That's it. <laughs> I found it. I got these new contact lenses. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That'll keep you in shape. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out of time. We're out of time. Look at him. Uh, five minute applause break. Yeah, they had the water. He's, I think it's. The water. Oh shit, he's going for the water. I all non sequiturs and I'm reading a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a great pair of socks. So, uh, poor Shay was like, couldn't ah, be better, Mr. Letterman. Good for you. I got a new pair of contacts. And, uh, and you're right back into it. I go in there, and the guy asked uh, me if I wanted terrible. to try some trifocals. Oh, my. And, uh, oh, 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 I can't oh, watch oh. this. I can't watch this. You know, this was uh, good. That, that's, uh, oh. But that's hilarious. Right. Uh, us and four million followers will watch it. <laughs> No, that, that is hard. That, that was one of my most humbling experiences on TV. Well, if that's it. Well. Want to see mine? Yeah, you want to see I got a <laughs> few, sizzle too. Reel? It's called. <laughs> I got a humble, few. My humble sizzle reel. It's called News 12 Long Island. CBS News. <laughs> Everyone involves an indictment. Uh, uh, sizzle reel is like this bigger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Artie, we saw your sizzle reel. Uh, could you put the cable in? Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a few. Uh, it was weird that they moments. found it, but yeah, that they was very amazing. They can find everything. They're amazing. Be careful. They really are amazing in that room. They can yeah, find it was cool. uh, anything. By, uh, by accident, I, I, I mentioned I bought uh, a Vicodin from a kid at uh, a 14-year-old black kid at a Denny's in Milwaukee, and they had that. It was the security footage. Yeah, we for the uh, first found it. First four years of YouTube, my agent would call me up after a weekend on the road and go, Artie, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube has video. Of you calling a 14-year-old drug dealer the N-word at a Denny's, at Denny's in Milwaukee. Could that be you? Go on. <laughs> Denny's in, I need more information. What is Denny's? Is a restaurant? <laughs> what is that? Some kind of restaurant? His prices were outrageous. <laughs> now, they'll find everything back there. So Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, was, uh, I was watching uh, Tonight Show last night, one of the old ones. Uh, they start running full episodes, like with uh, all the guests and everything, not right. just a clip show. And last night it was uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. It was from 1981. Oh. Uh, Dom DeLuise right. was on also. <laughs> so they give him the big intro. I guess the movie that was coming out at the time, it was uh, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Oh. And Johnny says it, and he's like, uh, from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. And then he goes to Eddie, he goes, imagine, like, we could say that now. <laughs> A few years ago, we couldn't even say the title of that movie anymore. It's like, and I, I find that nostalgia hilarious. Yeah. But then... Um, Probably can't say it now either, again. Yeah, right, right. now it would Come be... Full circle. Much. Yeah, full circle. We I mean, went through a time where it was you could say anything. Right. I mean, look back to the uh, Archie Bunker. The stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the family he had. would say. Just yeah. ama- you watch it. Just it the seventies. I oh love the. Uh, well, Norman Lear got away with that thing. Well, it's a character that we right. used to do on, like on Stern when I first started there. As long as I did like a shitty redneck voice, I could say whatever I wanted though. Wow. And uh, on paper, and when the FCC has it on paper, you don't hear the redneck voice. Yeah, when, you, when you're reading the transcript. Right. Artie Lang. Artie Lang. I hate Jews. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it just looks bad. So in the transcript, they're going to put Artie's character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Artie's, Artie's character. character says, say in that. parentheses, the redneck guy. I always say that. I, the, I, guy, the, the guy, you know, no actual guy would ever say this. Right. No. So his character. Artie, Artie would certainly never say it. Right. Uh, but, Artie uh, disavows. <laughs> I, have 100, uh, I have 173 comedic characters uh, uh, <laughs> trademarked at the Groundlings. Just yell out a number between 1 and 173. Just yell one out. Uh, 62. 62 is my effeminate plumber. <laughs> <laughs> you need some brilliant. more PVC piping. That's brilliant. It's a character. <laughs> not getting in trouble Give for me that. another one. One more. Uh, number uh, 78. That's, mm. my, that's my redneck guy who hates Jews. <laughs> and, hey, you Jew. There you get go. off of my property. <laughs> and that's and you doing. can't possibly get in trouble because it's a character. A bargain at every price. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get it wrong. But the N-word in any character now, you yeah, can't. Any character, that Found will that get out. you jammed up. Found that out the hard uh, uh, So, uh, oh, Dom DeLuise comes out, and and he does like this. He hugs Ed McMahon. He hugs him, and, and Ed McMahon hugs him back. And they're talking about how they could barely, like, even grab each other after that. <laughs> and so, so he sits down, and Johnny goes, you know, Italian guys, they're always uh, hugging and touching and everything. He goes, uh, is that like, do, do, you, do you get worried that people won't think you're macho? And I'm like, this guy's flamingly gay. Paul Prudhomme looks like James Conn. Yeah. <laughs> like, does, Johnny, Dom DeLuise. does Johnny not know that yeah, Dom yeah. DeLuise is right, a right. gay man? I've got two beards, John. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he really, like, supposedly, uh, there was a kid who worked on the Norm show, the sitcom I did, uh, that uh, used to have to go, his job was to watch the trailer while Dom DeLuise got fucked. Oh, by, by some kid, some guy. Uh, you know, so um, that ruined the movie Fatso for me. That, yeah, that will... <laughs>
I thought you meant watch the movie trailer. Huh? Right. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of job is that? Like, who you go know, watch the trailer. The trailer. Well, he's yeah, doing. Who, the... He's going to do with that thing. <laughs> you watch the trailer for Cannibal Run Two. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I fucked Dom in the ass. <laughs> I got the weirdest gig. <laughs> I watch trailers while, while he goes in the other room. That's a great Three Stooges. You told me to watch the trailer. <laughs> no, not that trailer. Oh, no, not the trailer. How are you? I'm fucking Dom DeLuise in the ass, and you're watching the trailer for Cannibal. I said his trailer. <laughs> and I'm going to Are you telling me? Are you telling me the trailer moved? The eyes of that picture moved. Now, Lou, I'm going to need you to watch the trailer <laughs> while Dom DeLuise gets fucked in the ass. The trailer hasn't but been. The but Hasn't been invented. <laughs> Dr. Louise is getting. <laughs> I, meanwhile, uh, uh, Bud Abbott trying to uh, get back a fucking uh, seizure. Uh, he was epileptic. I was like, I got a pencil. I'll tell you, piss me off, Lou. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I think that Bud Abbott was like uh, 58 and Costello was 20 when they met. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Martin was, and uh, Jerry Lewis were the same way. Like Dean Martin was in it right, yeah. Six year old alcoholic. And, yeah. Hey, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's great, kid. I'm going to have a drink here. That uh, straight man yeah. role is the, the, the best gig in. Bud Abbott was unbelievable. Like anymore, but, nuts, uh, yeah. Right? Bud yeah. Abbott was unbelievable. Yeah. His just, timing was unbelievable. And you just, well, yeah, there was there was definitely a talent to it. Oh, he's yeah. known it. But the thing is, they're, they're standing there like a Drinking a cigarette. So, here, here we go. I got my little cigarette. <laughs> oh, what's going on today? And, and the other guy's like spinning plates and fuck. Like his he's, gig. The other guy's fat always. He's got to be fat. He's got to be running. He's scared. He's juggling. Oh, that's our shortstop. Him and, stuff. and the other guy's just like, <laughs> you don't say. I don't, don't give it to him. I don't give it to him. <laughs> he and didn't he, say. To, oh. Anthony is slowly finding out I'm the worst straight man of all time. <laughs> it's like an awesome. So but yeah, they're always they their physicality had to be a thousand percent more. Watch how good I am. You ready? Yeah. I wonder what Dice Clay would have sounded like. Oh, I had a sore throat, but this chick came in <laughs> and I sucked the health right out of her. <laughs> Brian, I am big. Brian, have you ever uh, ruined the Letterman appearance? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought they would have just 86 that show from their annals. <laughs> it you is. You know, everything's on you. Everything's Missing episode. Out everything's uh, out there. Lost Regan episode. Yeah. How many times did you do Letterman? 28. Wow, there you go. 28 times. Uh, and I butchered 27 panels. <laughs> yeah, but that, no, but that's that's like so cool, cool of you to mention the one like you're not going to find. Oh, I'm sure uh, I did, that's uh, what everybody likes to hear about, you know. I did 29. Mm. Hey! Oh, look at that! That's, I did that's even. I did <laughs> one. Right. Try to be an asshole. I did one, but it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, well, you saved it. Well, congratulations! Oh, it was yeah. So perfect. Congratulations yeah. on your twenty-nine. Right. I made. I made. I. I made it a point that I got the seat next to Dave because right. Opie was in the other seat. Well, he was a straight man. Oh, that's right. I just so I just did this. I was just this the whole time. And and at that point, because this is the one and only time I'm doing this, I'm like looking and just going. I'm sitting here. That's David Letterman's yeah. face. Right, right. Yeah. And, and he's always just taller like, than you. Like you yeah, yeah. And then you just keep going. Like, yeah, but but you uh, you did that Howard impression. Oh right? yeah, yeah. That that was the the, the biggie. So you that. D you did um, you guys were the first guests that night. Uh, Not that it matters, but I no, mean. I think. Oh, they were after. Well, I think uh, we were yeah after some fucking. Well, you were after Johnny Galecki. I think. <laughs> you know, he was a tough guy. I don't to even remember. I know that they dropped a bunch of tennis balls. Uh, on the stage before we came out. There's nothing worse than following a bad bitch. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I, all I'm thinking is, oh, great, I'm going to trip and fucking... Right, right. I'll be the one of the highlight reels forever. <laughs> Somebody falling on their ass, breaking. He never says ass. to me, you know, I know he's being sarcastic if he says, "So you're staying in shape?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you. Maybe he asked everybody shape. that, and I just didn't know. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of a man's afflictions. <laughs> well, I did. I did one, and uh, Pierce Brosnan was the main guy. Oh. Okay. Was it hot guy night? That's pretty <laughs> yeah. good. It was handsome Pierce guy night. Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan was the main guy, and at the time they would send a, uh, a a stretch limo from the hotel to bring you over to the the thing. Oh, really? Well, I never got that. All right. Well, later, is... in later years, they didn't do that. But uh, <laughs> okay. So, they would come and pick you up. Like... So I'm in the car going over there, and all these Pierce Brosnan fans are outside of the Letterman <laughs> studio, holding up eight by tens because it's like tinted oh. windows. So they yeah. think Pierce Brosnan's. And your limo is going by, oh, that's great. and it's it's me. It's you in Pierce Brosnan's limo. I don't want 
I don't want his fans to think that Pierce Brosnan is, is snubbing them. Right. By blowing past them. So we I tell the limo driver to stop. Oh, no. I say, right. stop, because I want to make it clear, no, this isn't Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> so it stops, and all these people go, ah! And the window co goes oh, down, because no. I want to go, hey, clearly it's not Pierce Br And they all went, boo! <laughs> Sounds like the no one is, no one's, ever, no one's ever had that problem ever in the history of Pierce Brosnan. I'm not pretty, yeah, they were mad at me for not being him, and I, I'm trying to take a uh, bullet for him. You were trying to save him. I'm trying to save him so he don't like like a jerk, you know? You turned double O heaven into yeah. double O hell. He hated me even worse. <laughs> that you should have. backfired. Yeah. You <laughs> should have just rolled the window down a little and gone, fuck you. <laughs> and be like, wow, not only is Pierce Brosnan blowing us <laughs> off, but he's saying fuck you to us. Yeah. What if they all yelled out in unison? And you're staying in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're in shape. <laughs> oh, those contact lenses. Yeah, right. Faggot. Answer that question, <laughs> funny boy. They're all like fat uh, women. I love that you even thought of that. Like, it wouldn't even be in the back of my mind anywhere to think, hey, they might think Pierce Brosnan's blowing them up. Like, that's just a nice thing to do. Uh, I mean, that's what I was trying to do, but yeah. it fired on me. It's a funny panel for this show. Is it? <laughs> Tell the story. I wish I would have told that instead of my staying in shape story. <laughs> hey, we saw your staying in shape story. <laughs> this is funny, at least. Uh. <laughs> I, I, you know, you never want to follow a great comedian. And, of course, I found out, uh, my manager told me, two, 20, 20 minutes before the taping of a, the Greg Kilborn show, I was following George Carlin. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Literally the first guest, and I was the second guest. That's, and, uh, yeah. How would they even do that? That's I, I, Why, yeah, why have another comic guy. Because I was nothing, <clears throat> and I guess they needed a spot. And they. Oh, my God. Uh, so uh, he couldn't have been cooler though. He, he he killed. He came off stage, and you meet in that little no man's land right. with the, there's no agent or crew person. <laughs> that little area, and he stopped me, and he he could tell I was nervous. And he goes, "Look, man, you're gonna be fine. Uh, don't worry about it." He gave me his phone number. He said, "Call me uh, if you ever want to talk about uh, stand up." A little Jesus, yeah. and it really. And, uh, I think he I, has one phone that he never answers. That just to give the number. I out. called it. It was. And it, it comes was, up like George Carlin. I, I oh. called it. It was Kipadana. <laughs> Kipadana. <laughs> No, I I I, uh, I called once and he picked up the phone and we I mean like he felt that bad, but uh, Ed Kilborn didn't know anything. He's like fine. I, so the first thing I said was it's always great to follow the best comedian ever and that kind of got a little bit of a laugh. Yeah, but yeah. I tanked. It was horrible. Oh, uh, well, what are you gonna do? You fucking... I mean, it wasn't no like Bregan, but but the no, I, I could blame it on it. Oh, you're in shape. <laughs> Colin said to me, "You're in shape, Papa." <laughs> he was so nice. I, I I was touched that he was that worried about me. You know, and I called him up and I he said, "Who's this?" I go, "Remember the guy?" The, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Don't call here again. <laughs> what are you? Who gave me this number? I'm having dinner with my children. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you this number? <laughs> Who did? <laughs> Kelly Carlin. Do you still live in uh, Vegas? Yes. Oh, well, you do. So. Golden uh, Knights. Were you okay? What about that, yeah. The, uh, you okay with the big shooting? Were you? Uh, yeah, that's in a right. Good place. I was actually right near there two hours before that. Because Brian, the, Brian Paddock. Uh, the hockey arena is right near there, and I oh, saw yeah. a game, and then they they exit you right by the Mandalay Bay. Oh, so I was geez. there two oh, hours. Oh my God! Right so right before that happened. Yeah. yeah. So you had to hear the music. But. Uh, <laughs> What, did they ever that or Ariana Grande? They they, they love shit music. Right? Oh my God! Computers. Do you find that 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 whole thing's got these weird little things that are happening? That's a great story. They're not like it's like this conspiratorial bullshit. I I, I think they have to fill in some blanks. Some yeah, people, you know what I mean. <laughs> There's still like some confusion about like who shot everybody. Yeah, like who, why? There's no picture of that guy with eyebrows or his eyes open. His <laughs> eyes. Were, that, that, the only picture they had of him was with <laughs> eyes closed for like three yeah. days. Yeah, no eyebrows. He looks like he was just at a frat Maybe party. He had just just gotten some new contacts. Brian, can you relate to that? I think you should be looking for the kids at... <laughs> nice! Hey, you're just trying to get that contact story out. Doesn't look, it looks like he's in shape from all that video poker he's playing. new contact! <laughs> uh, there's, it, it looks like they should be looking for the kids from Phi Beta Kappa for shaving his eyebrows. I mean, he has no eyebrows. No eyebrows. He, he does look like just a, a mental patient, which obviously he was. The opposite and, uh, of his Peter. His brother's not quite that stable. You think so? You get those two kooks. And then you get the other things people saying, like there have been two people so far that had claimed there were more than one shooter, and they're both dead now. Right. Like two of them that survived the shooting said well, that there were multiple shooters. 
are dead. How about if you're Mrs. Paddock? One is the biggest mass murderer in the American history. Another one is a child molester. <laughs> and uh, they have a third son who just can't stop yelling outside of his house. <laughs> He's the winner. Okay. He's probably still out in front of his house giving an interview to like a plant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He was straight laced. I don't know why he did it. Everybody else says, get off my lawn. He's the only guy. Get on my lawn. Come on. Get on my lawn. Talk to me. About my brother. <laughs> he could not get out in front of the media. When rational people, if your family member right, right. is involved in anything. Like the biggest mass run shooting of for your life. life. Right. You run for your front door, no comments, whatever. Never got a parking ticket. A guy could not spill his guts quickly enough to the media. I just got contact lenses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stay in shape. Geraldo Rivera, you look in shape. I, I don't know. I, there's something insanely something weird. Great. I don't know. Insanely Whether it's great, incompetence, because the only other thing that, that says it's not this big underground conspiracy thing is that they're fucking incompetent. Right. <laughs> Right. Oh, well, yeah, that's the problem. Man, they're trying to hide things now. A bunch of lawsuits. I don't want to speak ill of your amazing uh, police department out there. Was that Clark County? Are you close to them? Um, I, I mean, police. I, I've been called. Ever been called to the uh, Regan. called to the <laughs> Regan procedure. compound? <laughs> and he, Never and, been to jail. First bullshit. Call was to me. You know, <laughs> we're all in this together, right? <laughs> like, they ever show up at your house at the uh, the Regan compound? No, never have. Like in, like in casino. How you doing, man? Yeah, pretty good. You know, Still the works. wife's expect. Hey, congrats, congratulations. Jimmy, I'd complain, but who'd listen? Jimmy, uh, yeah. And and then she's fucking stealing shit out of the house, and then I will go to the cops. I love when Patrick goes. All right, take it easy. Fuck yeah. you. I'm gonna go to the cops. All right. All right. Be careful. I actually did. Be have, careful. Uh, cops come to my house one time because we had somebody who come in, came into our house, oh. and. Uh, so we called really? the police. Yeah. Oh, you do that. Yeah. My son had seen somebody. He said, this, this guy just came in down. We were all upstairs. Chris Rock? Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy had come in downstairs. I mowed through that one. <laughs> and uh, and said, there's a guy who just walked in downstairs. Oh, my God. And, how and scary. We we're all upstairs. And I, was, I looked at my, well, I was married at the time. And yeah. we were like, what the hell is this all about? We didn't want to scare the kids. No. I called the police. Mm. And I went and got a big, giant knife. And I'm walking around. A machete. A big, the biggest knife I could get out of the cutting board Good thing. For you. My heart's pounding. Still just cutlery. Yes. You're defending your family. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have what a gun. What amounts to cutlery? And then the, the police showed up, and I'm walking. I'm trying to, like, look in every room, and I'm, I'm terrified, you know? But I figure I, I got to do something. This is a Ginsu. It'll cut through a fucking beer. <laughs> this will cut through a fucking beer can. <laughs> Uh, and then the police came and came in the front door, and I'm walking down the stairs from oh, upstairs shit. with this big giant knife, and they aimed the gun at me, oh, and they said, no. put down the knife! They think you're the intruder. And I said, I don't have to, I'm the homeowner. Like, oh, thinking, like, no. thinking they got the wrong guy. You're the put homo! I, I didn't know, I was so stupid, I'm like, no, I don't have to, and they said, put it down now! And I'm what like, about this gun? <laughs> What a, should I put this yeah. down? What yeah. about this art, uh, artillery I got? <laughs> I don't have panic. to do anything you How say. How about this hand grenade? I'm the guy Campbell's the doorman. Like, when we took the 18th AK-47 of the room, <laughs> like, what are you doing up there? But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's carrying a fucking, uh, like, guns that the Afghani army had against you, Bin Laden. You, you could have been killed. Yes, yes. And, and it was weird because they scoured the whole house. Two cops went around, like, with guns drawn, literally. And it was at yeah. Christmas time. And you know those little, like, blow-up things that um, right. move Correct. and make noise when you walk past them? A wife. Fun? A yeah. wife. They almost shot a one. Wife. <laughs> a wife. A wife. <laughs> They move and make noise when they you move walk. Move and make noise when you walk past them. Up thing. They move and make noise. You're a wife. A uh, wife. Yeah. yeah. They almost shot my wife. Oh Jesus. <laughs> the thing that won't stop making noise. Were there any uh, indications that anyone was in your house, or was it? Yes, an iPad, an iPod was stolen, and oh, um, they did take it, something. It was a kid in and out quick, and the cops said really? they suspect that um, it's young people. They're on. They're on meth. Oh, the old they're, meth. They're, they're looking for anything they can steal to sell. Yeah. Young people, yeah, exactly. Meth How did he get in the meth house? will do that. How did he get in the house? It was, during, it was at night. We just had the door open. It was like... Why would you have the door open? It was like 8 o'clock at night. It's so high in. Yeah. You lock those in doors. Vegas, okay. you don't want that. And we, had, we had a big sign outside saying, come on in. Just come on come in. Come on in, anyone yeah. and everyone. The, the iPad is on the... <laughs> 
<laughs> on the table. Roger, there's nothing like the combination of gambling addicts, meth addicts, <laughs> and Vegas to really. And an open door. Uh, I had an open door policy on my house, and I said, we have valuables, <laughs> and the map to where they're located is right when you walk in on the left. It's simple mathematics. Come on in. We're using the honor system here. The honor system for the yeah, method. If you take something, leave something. <laughs> leave something. Leave something in the kitty. Something like a combination of a guy who's been up for 21 days losing a craps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first house he sees. Where the fuck? Are you the guy from Damn. Letterman? So I don't know. That's uh, that's you some scary see his stuff. Twenty ninth right Letterman. He'll come to the door. But if he, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because yeah. you, you never know if yeah. they're going to be violent when confronted or anything. So yeah, no, that's that's kind of scary. Uh, did they ever catch anybody? Not that I know of. Uh, yeah. well, no. that's a profile. Meth, <laughs> meth needs money. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, wow. You still, uh, still looking for them? <laughs> yeah. So every day they're all around the neighborhood, like <laughs> looking in bushes. And, looking years like later. The Zodiac Killer. <laughs> the, the, my favorite line in The Big Lebowski is when he, like, if this car's stolen. He goes, "You got any leads?" And the guy goes, "Oh yeah, leads. <laughs> we got a team of guys working on it. We're working in shifts. <laughs> leads. Yeah." yeah. Yeah, there'll be a show like a Cold Case Files. Yeah. Some some grizzled cop will pull a book, something off a bookshelf, a big box. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the Regan uh, incident. I, every time a meth head see, comes let me, in. Let me go through here, see if anything. Well, we do have DNA now. Yeah, every time a meth head comes in with an iPod with material about contact. <laughs> on, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, I remember something about this. <laughs> for, for the St. Louis Funny Bone, <laughs> May 82. <laughs> You're a meth head. You've got a great comedian's fucking laptop. Uh, I thought it was odd. I told him to lock his door. He said, you too. <laughs> you too. He, mis <laughs> he misused you too. <laughs> uh, let's bait him. Let's, 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 let's uh, uh, what do they call it uh, uh, when they bait you? Catfish. Let's oh. catfish him. Okay. Hey, you look in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, calm down. We're trying to catch Paul Reiser. I, I, I know a cop that uses that uh, a catfish scheme with all these uh, people that he's trying to find. Like, oh, for why not? It's easy. They fall for it like every that not time. entrapment? I love the fall one where they, uh, they, they tell these guys they won a prize. Yeah, yeah. They all go to the, and, and they capture like 50 of them at a time, all in a big room. <laughs> it's got to be the most embarrassing thing for them. I don't you know. know. I, don't, I don't think Lifelong person... criminals being group arrested. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can't even arrest me on my own. You're not, you're you know not I mean? feeling like a you real... There. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, guys. I wouldn't be that embarrassed by that. No? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a smart guy could fall for that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, <laughs> I mean, uh, whatever. Maybe. That must be good in your ivory tower, but... <laughs> 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 I love you go. You go to there. You imagine? Wait, I mean, I would. I mean, look, I'm not that it happened to me, but a, a smart guy could fall for that. It could take a blithering idiot. Yeah, I mean, not in a, order to fall for that. You're out of line, man. You're out of line. Old gag. Well, you go to the, the. You go to the group thing. Are you the guy who pulled that bank job with an '81? <laughs> well, just stay here. There's a. Yeah. yeah well, well, I hope I win the TV though. <laughs> We're getting free Cheerios for a month. That's what. Well, since we've said it, Artie, you're not really the co-host. Bring in the officers. <laughs> We needed. <laughs> you set me up, Kuna. <laughs> me and Opie are in jail. <laughs> when I get out of here, pal. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, that's, Peter Mente. <laughs> that's show business. That's that's show, show business. The William Morris Agency. <laughs> Did oh shit. Did anal. Did uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the uh, Kevin Spacey thing is just nuts. What do you get caught doing? This is crazy. Do you have the Lily World Series? Well, uh, Kevin Spacey, there's this uh, actor, uh, Anthony Rapp. You know Anthony Rapp? I do know. I'll tell you. Pop up Anthony Rapp. Uh, oh, apparently. Yeah, he's the guy they named the party at the end of a shoot for. <laughs> I, I, I was in a uh, limo, and I went by the, all these people, these Anthony Rapp 8 by 10s <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I, I said, hey, slow down. <laughs> you know, uh, Anthony Rapp? I, I don't want them, all these Anthony Rapp right. fans to feel so like Anthony Rapp is blowing them off. Were they, they, well, first of all, is that your other name, Brian? <laughs> Look at you. Were they you. thankful? <laughs> were they thankful that you rolled the window down and said, oh, yeah. Is, that is this Anthony Rapp? That's Anthony Rapp. Okay. Brian Regan. <clears throat> now, Anthony Rapp was once a young lad of 14 years old. Oh. And a an older gentleman. Where this is going. By the name of Kevin Spacey, uh, tried to uh, pick him up, right. 
and uh, enjoy a sexual liaison uh, with this man. Do you have to throw allegedly? No, nah, I don't think you even have to at this point. a reputable website. I think he pretty uh, much explained what happened. Well, he's, he's, he's reading from a reputable web website, at thejokeman.com. <laughs> <laughs> Was so it 577 cool. wine? Whatever that was, whatever the Just name. use yeah. your, your finger. finger! Nice Chardonnay wine. Yeah, that's what, um, that's what we're getting finger. on news. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't know Kevin Spacey from nothing, but you have to, you know, you have to say allegedly. Well, I don't think you do in this case. One what are you guy defending saying, him for? Right. Well, because, because uh, yeah, Anthony Rapp came out and said this. <laughs> and then uh, Kevin Spacey Why would he lie? went on Twitter and posted this. I have a lot of respect and admiration for Anthony Rapp as an actor. I'm beyond horrified to hear his story. I honestly do not remember the encounter. Right. I would have, it would have been over 30 years ago, but if I did behave, then, as he describes, oh my God. I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate, drunken behavior. Covering his bases. And I'm sorry for the feelings he describes having carried with him all these years. This story has encouraged me to address other things in my life. I know that there have been stories out there about me and that some have been fueled by the fact that I have uh, been so protective of my, my privacy. Wow. As those closest to me know, my life and I um, uh, know me, in my life, I have had relationships with both men and women. I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life. And I choose now to live as a gay man. I want, uh, I want to deal with this honesty and uh, honestly and openly, and that starts with examining my own behavior. Wow. So he tries to get out of trouble by now just going, hey, I'm gay. No, right, right. Kaiser Sosa, he gets rid of the limp. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden. But that does seem a bit I mean, self-serving. You're not going to be in American Beauty 2 anyway. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I had a salvage, I've got space. a call back in the mix, <laughs> and I don't want to ruin anything right now. Play? I play a 14-year-old kid. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah. I mean, clearly he fucked them. I would right? dress in little uh, knickers, uh, like like the, one of the little rascals, just like Spanky. You know, if I were you, I'd call knickers pants. <laughs> I would these days. We live in a much too sensitive. Um, oh you're right. But uh, no, I, I mean, so his excuse is like he might have done it. It might have happened. I love that how he says he doesn't remember it, but he remembers he was drunk. <laughs> so what does that mean? So he clearly, so he's raping. It, when he no, gets it, drunk, he's raping women. Is the guy saying that he came on to him, or that they actually? The guy is saying he came sex. on you to Johnny Cochran to pick him up. <laughs> I don't think if your dick don't fit, <laughs> don't acquit. You must acquit. I don't know if uh, anything happened. Do you know any more about Anthony's uh, rap's story of this? Yeah, I don't know if it sounded like he was just saying that he came on to him. Yeah. First of all, Mr. Spacey, you were right. My mouth could not get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was trying to pick him up, which, you know. How's that? So, well, he was 14 years old. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that little now, aspect. Now, of now Brian, that might be I fine forgot. with you. Yeah. I don't know how David, they are David, out there in Clark County. David Geffen, if you're listening. about the 14-year-old. David Geffen, if you're listening, Brian Regan is pro-gay. It's different. <laughs> I, okay. You forgot about that. Whole you didn't hear that part of it. Esky fourteen part. Yeah. That's the part. That's the most important part. <laughs> that is a big part of the story. So, uh, He's a toddler. A so lot yeah, of, yeah, they He's were on his big wheel. They both performed in Broadway. Uh -oh. Spacey invited Rap over to his apartment for a party, and at the end of the night, picked Rap up, placed him on his bed, and climbed climbed on top of him, making a sexual advance. Oh, Did you think he was a teddy bear? Oh, okay. So I know where I know that kid from. Where do you know that kid from? It's a movie I guarantee you've seen. Uh, well, um, and it, it's the best uh, uh, defense for Kevin Spacey. Dazed and confused. Oh, was he in Dazed and Confused? He plays the other nerd kid that uh, Adam Goldberg is, is hanging out with that night. That's definitely him. And he was cute. Yeah, and he was cute to boot. Uh, I guarantee that's that's him. That's the only place I yeah, know him from. Yeah, that's it. I don't really know of his uh, career or anything. He was also uh, the uh, other Jared from Subway. That used to be. Oh, there. okay. See, that makes a little more sense. Can I catch a break. <laughs> Every guy, I mean. <laughs> you, you know how, like, when uh, I mean, the old sitcoms, like when the, a that character him? left. A character. That's, yeah, that's him. That's Yeah. Yeah. He's computer? on the left hand, right? Yeah. Okay. Just put on the Artie Was Right segment. But they were, you know, I would assume if you're on Broadway with somebody 
Anything goes. Yeah. What, what, uh, tries to could he up. have not known he was 14? <laughs> I guess his attorney. He was playing in all the. He was 14. You really are. Yeah, yeah. And um, He's you know, a gay he, Elvis. He was, he was drunk, as he says. He remembers. Yes, he yes, remembers. Uh, he was drunk. He, he thought he was he an 18 year old He says he doesn't remember. Actor. 14, 28. It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say about sitcoms? Old sitcoms. Oh, when they. Uh, you know, a character would leave. They would just replace him with another guy that. Oh, I know, like Lionel. Like right. Like Lionel on. Oh, I don't know why they just didn't do that with Jared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was up. New, just have a new guy. And, I was and up go, for this Jared. Is Jared, like, you were up for Jared. I was up for the new Jared. The, Jared. Jared. You uh, 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 a great Jared. The audition was two questions: Am I willing to lose weight? And have I ever fucked a kid? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy to say that's no on both. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, I'll lose weight. It's a, it's a I, short audition. You know what, Jared? A kid gave him AIDS. That's how he lost weight. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> how about that one, Brian? <laughs> wow. A kid gave him. You don't think that's funny? No. I. Oh, come on. Like That's, that's better than the contact lens thing. <laughs> so I understand, Brian, you think Jared got AIDS from a child. And that's I'll how he defend, I'll defend him. You know, Jared could have thought <laughs> that all of these people were adults and consenting. You really are the devil's advocate here. Or Bill Cosby with the 40, um, you'll like this. Uh, this is good for your next letterman. Uh, Bill Cosby's lazy eye. When you're uh, raping a chick, you have to keep one eye on the door. You love it. Like you a, love it. Like cry. Like, oh. I was working on a similar bit. <laughs> I was working on a similar bit, but... We just cut them laughing like De Niro and Gabe Pierre. Ah! <laughs> Age. Ah! <laughs> I'm thinking, I've got jokes about donut sprinkles. And I'm, <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how to fit in here. <laughs> what about Hot Dogs and Donuts by Jackie... Jackie Can I get the Jackie joke, Jackie Man Marling? He's got a donut and a hot dog on the cover of the CD later. Of course. What about um, in defense of him? Probably him. didn't realize that there was a sexual connotation there. It was just two food items he picked at random. Oh, no, listen. Then Stuff he's got happens. hoof, hoof hearted, ice melted. Yeah, yeah. So it was hoof yeah. like a hoof of a horse. Hoof hearted with a heart. Right. Ice melted. Ice is melting. When he would hoof hearted, tell... ice melted. <laughs> When he would tell a, a Only black the joke, joke, man. When he would tell a black joke, the black voice he did is the single most offensive. <laughs> I'm from Jersey, uneducated, longshoreman, hack road time. <laughs> I was offended. <laughs> I was offended. Like the black voice goes, uh, listen, I ain't a road. I'm gonna do this baby. He would do. <laughs> yeah, the joke, man. <laughs> three plus two. Like, uh, what's three plus two, Tyrone? Six. Wrong. And they said, give Tyrone another chance. Give Tyrone another chance. All right, Tyrone, what's two plus two? Uh, let me see the seven. Give Tyrone another chance. Give Tyrone another chance. All right, last time. What's four plus four? Eight. Give Tyrone another chance. Give Tyrone. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> I thought I'd get more. I thought I'd get more. Uh, oh, not, not in 27. You know I'll leave. Stay on your high horse. I'll leave. <laughs> your high horse. Oh, the PC police? <laughs> the PC police. Oh, what? You can't call a little girl the N-word. Oh, oh. Uh, PC police. You can't burn a cross on the lawn of Howard University anymore? <laughs> Ooh. Can't put a Ooh, the PC police, I guess. You can't put a dead cow's head on fire in front of the Patels, oh. huh? Well, PC police, Mr. Patel. Well, I'm sorry. I guess you're not hip. We can't throw paint on the Martin Luther King statue. Whoa. Ooh. Well, I guess the PC police are running rampant. I guess I'm the asshole. <laughs> <I> guess I'm... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look out. I, I can't spray paint your father's suck on the Vietnam Memorial. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just me. Oh, daddy's missing. Wow, wow. <laughs> What am I, the jerk? Hey, I just want to say there are people who are disadvantaged. They don't have opportunities for certain schools, so maybe they couldn't figure out that the answer was eight. You're always the voice of reason. Voice of reason. You know Brian I mean? Regan. I never knew the punchline. Even eight? the teacher didn't know because of the, they're, 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 you know. So you think because they were black is not the answer? No, no. No, no, not at all. I never thought that either. Challenging economic situations. Because it was a bad school. Challenging economic. This guy, uh, who is this, uh, Josh in Albany? Josh, my friend Albany in Albany. Josh. I have a caller. Hello? <laughs> He's laughing that we have a caller. I know. <laughs> Josh? <laughs> no that, way. Oh, You've got a caller? Josh, Josh, there he is. How you doing, Josh? Good, man. How are you? Good. So, uh, That's a great call. 
Yeah. You stay- the next caller on the line. How you staying in shape? <laughs> uh oh. I know, Josh. Go ahead, buddy. What's happening, Art? How you doing, Josh? I'm doing good. Remember the story? I don't know if you remember. I started to tell a story about uh, something that happened with me and Kevin Spacey on your podcast. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, you have a Kevin Spacey. Well, I guess you can story. say it now. Yeah, let it let yeah, it rip. You you shut that down real quick. But I think now I could probably tell. Uh, it oh, problem. feel free. I don't know why I did. The ratings came out, and my mother and sister were occasionally listening. I, was, <laughs> I don't think they would have sued me. <laughs> <Occasionally>. <laughs> so what happened? What happened with you and uh, so Kevin we were, Spacey? I was on a school trip uh, with my theater group, Uh-oh. and we went and saw Lost in Yonkers. It was like him, Mercedes Rule. You know what? You like said enough. Simon I believe play. it. <laughs> <laughs> it really is starting to. Uh, First of all, Mercedes. This story. Mercedes do rule. Look at all the facts are checking out so far. Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, afterwards, they invited like all these high school actors to like come back and have a little party backstage. Oh boy. And uh, we were given a tour of the theater. I kind of wandered off. I went into oh. a bathroom. Uh-oh. And all of a sudden, uh, somebody else came in. I heard the door shut behind me. And it was Kevin Spacey. He came up like three urinals. He came up right next to me. Wow. Started talking to me and, you know, made it very so. obvious what his <laughs> intentions were. Oh. Uh, hey. so- I know what he, he said. Offered. He said, isn't it weird that these other urinals aren't working? <laughs> <laughs> the other urinals weren't working, so oh, there's an like honest man. explanation. A perfect uh, he explanation. Walked up, he walked up and said, give Josh another chance. <laughs> yeah, Why is exactly. Dom DeLuise on my left? <laughs> so yeah, so what, he, uh, what exactly did he say? Uh, he, he said, nice dick. <laughs> hey. Asked if I needed any help. <laughs> I I'm the only one laughing. So, uh, you know, anything. Moving we, that day. He could have been saying, let me play uh, Bullshit Regan over here. He could have been saying, like, Dick Cavett, yeah, nice yeah, dick, yeah. like, nice show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it reminds me of Dick Cavett. He was a great actor. Yeah. <laughs> nice dick, Sergeant, on uh, <laughs> I Dream of Cuntville. <laughs> <laughs> took it the wrong way. You completely yeah. took it the wrong we way. Off. We <laughs> just, but we both just watched Bewitched, did we not? And you're in the only place where it really is totally fine for two men to stand next to each other with their penises right. out. When the only other pussy available is Mercedes Rule, this happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so uh, Josh, yeah, he, that uh, is unbelievable. So now, what did you think? Yeah, that was man. a pivotal moment in your life. It was my first blowjob. <laughs> Had a taste. <laughs> that old, no, that old around, gag. And uh, Kevin Spacey, hey. as Kevin Spacey's wiping his, wiping his dick off on your forehead. If you want this to be your last blowjob, you'll shut up. Yeah. He <laughs> promised. You want to be lost in Yonkers? <laughs> lost in Yonkers. Lost in Yonkers. Oh, that is unbelievable! Wow. Yeah. yeah. You sure it wasn't had, Kevin I, Sorbo? Like, I tweeted about it, but <laughs> was it what? Kevin Sorbo? Yeah. No, no. All right. That, oh, well, that's a great little story you have there. I guess yeah. I have some interesting calls. Oh, it's a great big it. story. Yeah. Well, now it's a big story. I mean, well, it's not, that's the best thing ever. I mean, that's a big caller, Brian. How dare you? Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying it's quite a... <laughs> now, Josh, how long ago did you call Artie with this? He was on my podcast. We're um, friends. He's a Twitter supporter yeah. of mine. How, how long was... Uh... Yeah. First of all, we're not friends anymore. After the <laughs> Not after no. that. Josh, After can I say your... Uh, because it was definitely before all these allegations, right? Oh, yeah. This was like 1991. Wow. Dude. He's been at I this was, a lot. I was 17. Ooh, tell us more. <laughs> no wonder he lost the Willy Wonka. The, 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 <laughs> it's going to be Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka and the fucking boy-ass factory. How, uh, how is a 17-year-old guy like... Uh, you were in, <laughs> you were in the drama club, but you weren't gay? You were in the bleachers. No, he's oh, gay. No, I was gay. Oh, you're gay. He still is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He's my gay after fan. That, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, after that, Kevin Spacey made you gay. He's my gay fan. Well, listen, yeah. I think and I'm offering, if you guys me. need me to, like, help get you out of some situations with some uh, gay actors. I need you to you know, get I'm me a job fan. on Bravo. Tell people um, you're my fan. Oh, you could do that. I know, Andy. Or, I'll, I'll talk to Andy Cohen. Or Logo. The Logo Channel. <laughs> is this Albany Andy Cohen? <laughs> That's the gay channel yeah, logo, exactly. I think. No, this Josh is a great guy, and he was here. He was here for the premiere. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He was in the gay section. And I'm coming the, back. We placed him the, in the gay the section. Oh. We, uh, we turned a, a stool upside down so we could bring th- three of his friends. Where Brian should be sitting now <laughs> with the way he's reacting. <laughs> no, I... I, I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got another category for the gay section. Brian's just like, I don't... Oh, now, where is that? Where's that section? 
right over there. <laughs> Say goodbye to your next Stephen Bochco series. <laughs> I learned a lesson from this. Oh, you did? Yes. You know, because I, I always, if I'm in a urinal, and I always assume that the guy next to me might not know how to work the, the flushing thing. Uh -huh. so I'm always asking, hey, do you need help hey, with you that? Do you need help with nice. that? Okay. But now I know people can misconstrue that. And in England, that's I'm never going to ask that again. In England, that's known as a dick. <laughs> a cigarette's a fag. Right, right. But uh, I, I, have a, I learned a lesson. I always assume the person next to me at a urinal is Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take the fucking, I'll go shit in one of the shitters. Uh, th well, thank you, thank you, Josh, for that uh, interesting and topic. Uh, timely story. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, Thanks. man. Big fan. Thanks, uh, All right, thanks man. for uh, taking my call. Thank you, sir. Good job. There it goes. There it is. We see, we get our own little Kevin Spacey connection. It's up kind of like for the, uh, by the way, they, they made a song parody of AZT. AZT, a simple one, two, three. Uh, <laughs> they did that. Uh, the, 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 some group did it. Yeah. They're, they're called the uh, God Hates Fags. We're, oh my God. We are, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a, a quick break. <laughs> Uh, Brian, you of course will be. Look at the audience. <laughs> BrianRegan.com uh, for all your Brian Regan needs. Uh, in New York, the Auditorium Theater, November 9th. And uh, you may have heard a little place called Carnegie Hall. Oh, wow. On November 11th. Yep. Brian Regan, so funny. The uh, your first time playing that? Nunchucks. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> nunchucks and flamethrowers. The Pirates that of is Pinterest. coming to uh, Netflix on November 21st. How many specials have you done? Uh, I don't know, a handful. How many special kids have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jared. Just, Mr. I never fucked never a kid. never ends. Mr. I never fucked a kid. <laughs> oh, Mr. High and my. Ooh, the PC police. Mr. I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I relax with I a guess nice. it's just me. Yeah, I relax with some grape juice and the, <laughs> and the 700 Club. Holy shit. Yeah. We'll take a, a quick pr a break. Uh, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you both very much. Yeah. Megan is uh, the, and, the best um, comedian ever. Very kind. When we oh, return, wait. we will return with the amazing Miss Lisa Lampanelli. Uh, very good. And we'll take this opportunity uh, to uh, what? Do we have something? Oh, my, I pissed blood. Oh, uh, we don't today? I did a great little thing. I thought. Oh, top gonna, five? Go to break, talk about deep discount or something. Look at that, right? No? Nothing. You just got to awkwardly usher Brian out of here. Brian, do your contact lens video. Right. Right. You're well, walking out. Uh, Brian. <laughs> I'll walk out with you. Uh, if you should be known as Parker's <laughs> If you can't take this kind of humor, maybe you should get walking. Yeah, I got to go. can't take the heat. Hey, get out of Hell's thank Kitchen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Brian Regan. And I, w I do absolutely want to uh, grab a few beverages. Yes. With uh, with you, that'll be a lot of fun. I'm gonna do it uh, soon. I will. Thanks for partake? absolutely. Thanks for writing that age. Yeah, November. You're back in. in... <laughs> yeah, I would love that. You're in November, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll Thanks for all that. that. Thanks for all that kid fucking material. <laughs> very very cool. We have a uh, uh, we have a quick bit. We're gonna play from Brian. On you got the something out. quick? Yeah yeah. All right, and we'll be right back with Lisa Lampanelli right after this. We just moved. Um, I called UPS to ask them to help out with some boxes and. Now, they're a good service, but you have to have information ready about your boxes before you even call them. I had no idea. I called them up. Yeah, I have uh, 10 boxes. We come pick them up. We need to know the weight and the girth. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> so I called back. We need the weight and the girth. Okay, I don't know what the weight is. And, um, I don't know what girth means. <laughs> so now what's the procedure? <laughs> so this guy talks to me like I'm four years old. Well, do you have a bathroom scale? Uh, yeah, but if I put the box on a scale, it's gonna cover up the numbers! <laughs> What, do I take them off really quick? <laughs> ah, zero, I'm not fast enough. What's he talking about? So then he gives me like his Mr. Wizard formula. How about if you stand on the scale and weigh yourself, get off the scale, pick up the box, get back on, weigh you and the box together and subtract your own weight. I'm going, slow down. <laughs> Hold on, professor! <laughs> and 
know this guy's never tried this, because I tried it, and you still can't see the numbers! <laughs> what am I, Mr. Olympia? Three pounds. <laughs> then I had to hang up in the middle of his girth formula. He kept assuring me it was easy. You know, the girth is very simple to figure out. You take the length and you double that by the smaller of the height after you triangulate the hypotenuse from the third side. Of okay, I gotta go. I I'm getting another call. <laughs> Yeah, I'm too stupid to talk to you. I just, just want to not be on with you any longer. So this is true. I figured I would call back and just make up some numbers, you know. Let them come out and pick them up. If it's wrong, I'll pay the difference. Just dispatch the truck. Please. So I called back. Yeah, I, um, I have uh, 10 boxes. And, no, I'm another guy. Yeah, and they all weigh exactly 22 pounds, and they'll have a girth of three. Three what? Three girth units. Come pick them up, please. I'm, I'm begging you. They're boxes and they're brown and they have tape all on them. And they probably fit on a dolly. Why must you torture me? <laughs> oh my God. That is goddamn funny, man. Brian Regan. <laughs> Girth units. That's what he calls them. Um, uh, moments, moments away. Lisa Lampanelli uh, comes in, of course, rejoined by Mr. Artie Lang. Uh, quickly, though, uh, Walking Dead. Watched The Walking Dead last night. I, I, I'm I, obsessed with getting mad at this show now. Now I'm obsessed with getting angry at watching The Walking Dead. There was a segment in there. First of all, they're having this battle with, you know, Negan's guys. And, stuff. and it's just, no one cares about it. You don't care about, like, they're just people shooting machine guns at other people. Half the time, I literally, I could not tell who the bad guys and the good guys were and who's shooting at who. I just had no idea. I didn't care. I cared nothing. And the time-wasting factor. There was a shot of Rick walking down a hallway, slowly walking down a hallway. That just was, it, it was there for nothing more than to eat up the clock. And then at the end of the episode, they did a good five minutes of just close-ups of everyone's face on the cast. Like they're just there, and it was like this close, and then they'd go to someone else. And they're this close. No words, no nothing, just close-ups of the cast's face. I'm, I'm just going like, why the hell am I watching? I'm obsessed with getting angry at that stupid fuck show. Walking Dead, it's oh, terrible. Absolutely. I don't even know why. Like I don't know why I watch. Girlfriends. The, wa the Walking Dead. How are you walking? <laughs> <laughs> that is, well, did you used to like it? And I, it went like downhill? the first season, it was kind of a novelty. Zombies were all the rage and everything, but now it's just turned into this, it's literally a soap opera with some zombies thrown oh, in. Oh, it's kind of, it's gay now. It's like Days of Our Lives with Zombies. Well, the, the, the show MASH was on 11 years. The first three are the only ones salvageable. When Klinger, yes. takes, Klinger takes off the dress, I'm like, how does he still have a job? Yeah, why? Like, what, what the fuck, you gotta put put a nightgown on. They, they, That's his whole character. Yeah, that was his whole character. The first BJ Honeycutt doesn't, yeah, they were great. BJ Honeycutt doesn't channel his wife. Yeah, yeah. Needs him. It got all, uh, all those shows after a few years, they figured they had to, 
you know, be um, role models or something. Oh, the serious episodes. Yeah, the serious episodes and everything. Yeah. And it just it just meant they were completely out of well, gas. You talk about all in the family. My favorite thing is when him and the meathead are having an argument. He, uh, Archie's a cab driver and a transvestite. He thinks oh, it's a woman. Yeah. Uh, is having a heart attack. He gives her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. It turns out to be a guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's all upset about it. And uh, Meathead's like, what, what, what are you talking about, Archie? Like, uh, what if uh, what if you knew it was a guy? He goes, I'd have found the fag fireman. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have found the yeah, fag fireman. Hilarious. I mean, again, I remember being eight years old going, that's fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, England's a fag country. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a tribe in New Guinea. Leave the Italians out of this. <laughs> I mean, everything was just, uh, like, you know, but people, I love that people didn't get, you know, he was a character and like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I absolutely think people were a little more uh, open minded back then, even. Absolutely. We think everything was like, ah, oh, so closed minded. Like, we were able to accept uh, jokes for being jokes. Humor, oh, Red whatever. Fox on, on, on Sanford and Son. Yeah. He was the uh, black version of that. Like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. And it was brutally funny. Uh, he, they had an aunt played by a, a, a woman who was like a stand-up in Vegas. She was a very dark-skinned black woman, older, not attractive. Honest. Uh, come on in, Lisa. Not Take Jada Pinkett Smith. Right, right. <laughs> hey, kids. What's up, Lisa? How long has it been? Speaking of edgy and wonderful. Oh, and so fucking uh, beautiful and gorgeous and sunny. Gotta take it in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> it's marvelous. Yeah, oh, are we not allowed to curse on this oh, one? Curse, oh, curse, okay. We We do it all the time. Well, because I saw Brian Regan, and he's the king of clean. Yeah, very clean, comedy, very but clean. But still funny, which yeah, I find you know, shocking. Off air. Know, it's hard to Watch do. out, off air, though. He'll fucking, yeah, oh, boy. Oh, off air, it's N-word this, N-word that. Oh, and he'll bang a 14-year-old in the ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See the problem in it. Oh, how I don't, many? Who how does? Many, like, what's the problem? How many? Uh, how many executives at NBC are Jew fags? And like, <laughs> yeah. I hear it all from all Brian. Of them, by the way, when there's down. no mics around. Check the racism at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see the sign, <laughs> Regan? I know. Uh, so uh, uh, I don't know. Someone named Flimsy Greenberg was the head of NBC. <laughs> <laughs> Flimsy. So the, so Lee, Lisa, <laughs> his pet name. Have, have you ever have you ever met uh, Kevin Spacey or anything? I have not, or I wouldn't be sitting here doing you your fucking really? show. Yeah. No, yeah, it's I like hear you. I, yeah, they never offered the casting couch to me. Really? I found this very oh, I got that. well. Here's what I was lucky. Actual couch for your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> If I could carry it myself when that I was 248 pounds. <laughs> Lisa. stained couch where uh, oh. Tiffany Amber Thiessen just was? <laughs> <laughs> I could take that. Uh, Weinstein, that Weinstein. Yeah. Weinstein. Well, how about Maya Bialik, uh, Blossom, yes, saying Blossom. she was lucky enough to be ugly? Yeah, she never got uh, that casting couch thing. It's like, well, yeah, look at you. you feel, well, that's that. the thing. I felt that way, too, because now you're I'm not, gorgeous. You're not ugly. But, oh, my God, back when I was a battle axe no, at 248 we, pounds, nobody your, wanted to fuck me. No. Your soul was ugly. <laughs> oh, terribly ugly. Now I'm beautiful just, all around. Uh, the most wonderful person, funny as hell. Aw. And that makes you attractive. You've always been attractive. See, that isn't that nice of uh, already It is pretty that. nice. Yeah. Do you mean that? Yeah, well, you said I went blind here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that. Oh my I God! Like, you're not one of my favorite people in the world. I always did like you very much, Artie, and I think I always liked you, Anthony, because I met yeah. you even just once. That's yeah, yeah. I remember? Think. Remember yeah, that was, place? It was a roast. It was. Uh, it was one of the Friars Club roasts. It was uh, one of those closed door ones. Yeah, and where you, was that? You were there, was and I was like, Friars? and I always thought yeah. you were hilarious and funny. Thank and edgy. you. Oh, who did? I, I tried. Yeah. I tried yeah. while I was miserable with a partner who didn't appreciate me. Well, that's the thing. I always I was... met my wife, not I. <laughs> of course you did. Okay. I was always worried to do your show because I was always scared of Opie. Really? Yeah, that's why I never did your show. The only oh Italian girl I love who likes black guys. Well, I don't like them anymore. I don't talk to my Oh, oh look at this. Oh, no, no I, lost the, I, I lost the weight. I, I, I lost I, the weight. I lost the weight. Look what happens. Is I can that just. what it was? Oh, sure. Would you, get yeah. would you get tired of paying the rent? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> and uh, my checkbook balance was all. Always negative. <laughs> Oh, Terrible. actually, uh, that one guy I did that you you did. No, I, I I married guy Jimmy Big Balls. He Jimmy was a Big white Balls. guy, and right. then I divorced him two years did ago. Did you hyphenate uh, the Big Balls? Did you keep Lampanelli Big Balls? Lampanelli oh, Big Balls. You lost weight too, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I I, I I'm, I'm still friends with him. But check this out. I have been celibate for four and a half years. Wow, is yeah. that by choice? Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, nobody's really. Who's trying to fuck me? Well, yeah, I didn't believe me. Right now. <laughs>
Plenty of guys. Be by the pool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> by the dudes. pool. There you go. There we were. See, we were fat bastards. Go. But well, let me tell you. You really were kind of puffed up. Puffed up at 248, man. Oh, That's damn. 107 you pounds. You're always so pretty. Oh, is you're sweet? You're funny. You're funny. You're one of those broads you can laugh at. I never met one of them before. Yeah. Well, Artie, I, I've said this before on your shows, and I'll always say it. The funniest joke ever said about me in the history of comedy was oh, no. when Artie Lang, looking like this, said, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time somebody said, hey, aren't you Lisa Lampanelli? <laughs> It made me laugh so hard, and I said, I never mind jokes at my expense when they're actually funny, and that was hilarious. Looking like this as opposed to when I look like a young Bob Redford. Yes. I I, I said, Lisa, she's a perfect roast person because she's hilarious at roasting and can take a joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. because uh, at roast, you are really one of the primary targets. Well, hey, that also one of the primary, if I can give it, I gotta be able to take it. One of the primary givers of it. These people think, oh, they get their feelings hurt on a roast. What did you fucking think you were signing up for? Yo, when this, uh, Cat Williams, he says, oh, I'm sad. That that we said he was short. Does he have a fucking mirror? (laughs) That would be like Artie saying he doesn't look like a drug-addled gray fucking weirdo. (laughs) Come on. And by the way, you lost some weight. You're still horrible. I did. But you did lose weight. when I started dating black guys. Yes, it happens. (laughs) They give you AIDS. I got the him. him. See, we're on the same wavelength. I was saying, people call Lisa the the female Don Rickles, and I said, well, looks aren't everything. (laughs) I have a much girthier penis. You must not to speak ill of the must dead. Feel like a different per- I Dude. mean, you, know, you must be so comfortable. And like, oh my I've God. been both fat and and thin. But well, you, you, you were never fat. I was fat. Like, you know, uh, like I couldn't fly coach because I was fat. Right. You needed the two seats. Yeah. Now, if I buy two seats, it's just so I could show off and say I can afford well, it, motherfucker. Usually it, was, it had to be three. You, you and a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just have the distance between but, us. Uh, but you must feel like a new person. Dude, yeah. I have so much energy. That's why I'm like running around doing more stuff because you're never yeah. tired. Did you did you uh, have anything done like? Uh, oh yeah. You did? Okay. Oh, five years ago, I got this thing called the gastric sleeve, where they rip out eighty five percent of your stomach, so you oh. can't eat like you have nine rectums anymore. He tried to do that himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's hard it when work. you. I, I, it didn't work out. Carrying your own Self-surgery scalpel doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, and I tried to leave it to a professional. <laughs> well, the anesthesia was bleach that I drank. Oh, <laughs> See, that's bad. That's bad. First of all, before we get into this, did you get the audition? Are you playing the guy from Flock of Eagles on the TV? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Um, you know what? Yeah, here. It's you look fantastic. fantastic. Like, you look, it's you're like, young. You're young, right? That's you're... what happened. I turned back the clock with this surgery. But guess what, Anthony? Here's the problem. You get the surgery, you think it's a quick fix, and now I got to fucking keep the weight off. Oh, that's I kept what... it off five years, but it's five a struggle years. every day. Wait, I want to do the Ace Rothstein thing. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, God bless. Yeah, God bless, God bless. everybody. That's good. She's got to take the cigarette out. What a good, you, had a, you probably had a, a, your surgery worked like fantastic. Yeah. You, so, you know, the name of your book should be Black Boyfriend, White Surgeon. <laughs> Actually, it was an Indian surgeon. Oh. Not oh. even a casino That's Indian. Customer support Indian. They really are good. They they come over here, go to school, yeah. and become amazing surgeons. Oh, he's great. And also, he's done many other celebrity sur- uh, surgeries. Yeah. I would name names if I could, but I can't, Rosie O'Donnell. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. But you ever notice with her? all take. Oh, well, That's what I was going to say. <laughs> what happens to these people, she these fat Donald. cunts? Oh my God. Who get the surgery and they never look thin. Look at me. I'm a great beauty. I don't know what happens to these people. It tells me. It's not. It tells working. me you got a little something called self control. A little bit, Maybe a little, a little bit. especially when it comes to like If you're making that commitment to yeah. go under the, the knife, as they say, yeah. to uh, get that done, and the doctor tells you, here's what you can and can't do and eat and stuff. Yeah. You know, that's what you do. I committed oh, the whole struggle. I can see struggle. the sleeve they put in her, like, popping rivets, like when a submarine <laughs> goes goes too deep. You know what they put a sleeve? Oh, my God. <laughs> they put a sleeve of Oreos in me. <laughs> Good one. Somebody write that down. I'm using it in my play. What do you think I'm here for my fucking looks? Oh, my God. Yo, that's the thing about you, Artie. You are not. That's all. No, no, no. Filthy blacks. You and I... I Every punch felt- that's how good she is. Every punchline's either the pushy Jews or the filthy bland. Yeah. <laughs> the filthy She's bland. still in the business making a lot of money. You know, this is what cracks me up, Artie. I always have this feeling that I'm an imposter and a fraud in my own life because I go, am I actually funny or do I just yell blacks or that's what the spicks do? And then I go, 
Fuck it. I got the money. What do I care? Yeah. They they steal. (laughs) They steal. Just because you yell that out doesn't make you funny. Like, my mother's not funny. She yells (laughs) out. She yells it out all the time. (laughs) It's true. It's true. That's what too. Yeah. Yeah. So if your mother yells it, but I yell it, and I get a million dollars. What's going on there? My mother says, hey, can I have a fucking, the rent? Yeah. I got to pay her taxes. (laughs) You watch that uh, You watch that show, My 600-Pound Life, where they do the the surgeries? Oh, I love a TLC moment. Isn't that amazing? I love it. I'm like a, I feel like David Beckham <laughs> watching that show. And if I, 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 make, I make girlfriends watch it. I go, yeah. You see? You gotta, it's my 240-pound life for a living. <laughs> well, here's what's That's cracking me up about you, Artie. You, actually, you have girlfriends, yes? Oh, yeah, sure. How do I not have a boyfriend? Here's what I did. Yeah, I no, said, let right. me take a few <laughs> years off of dating after the divorce so yeah. I figure out who I'm supposed to be with spiritually. Right. <laughs> and now, I don't know. I'm not even attracted well, to you. Are you panicked? Are you a little panicked? Uh, here's a, no, no, no. You know, I don't want to have a... Point, look, me and Artie talk about once you've uh, reached that that 50 hurdle. Oh, I love being hurdle alone. Of 50, you're kind of like, you know, <laughs> yeah. you just don't give a fuck I don't anymore. give a shit anymore. Well, about, well yeah. especially when you're going through menopause like I was. Oh, well, not you don't got. Well, you're not going through... You don't want... No sex. Oh, sex yeah. is not attractive anymore. So I go. I could go home and hang out with my dog and eat little tiny pieces of food, no butter, right. or I could fucking sit there with a fucking asshole who likes the sports. I know. And uh-huh. likes to talk. Eat, I don't like eat people. Big food and fuck the dog. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. We have a lot we need to talk about. I uh, I don't know. I think for, uh, a Labrador Retriever a quick turn of your head. And- <laughs> Young they are adorable. Here. When you put peanut butter on your privates, just do not use the chunky. <laughs> no, That's no, what they no. say. It's a little smooth. bit hard on the. Yes. Gotta be smooth. <laughs> I need a fluffer nutter. <laughs> you, uh, there is something to be said for being al- like going home. There's Dude, no one I there. I love it. Do whatever the fuck you want. Absolutely. Like you need that kind of downtime after a while. Yeah, I mean, when I used to have to live with Jimmy Big Balls, God bless him, but I used to relegate him to one wing of the house. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I'd say, yeah, you go in the man cave and I get the rest That's, of the I house. I always said that. That's that's what it is, the, the man wings. cave. Exactly. <laughs> Guys talk about, they, they're proud of their man cave. I'm proud of my, I'm proud. Dude, you've rele- you're relegated to one room in a house, and you make it sound like you run the joint. Right. Uh, dude, you know what the woman's dude. man cave is? The rest of the fucking house. Listen, I'm proud man of. cave is the thing she eats out. Yeah, I was just going to say, my lady cave sounds a little dirty, but that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, the lady know. cave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you got stalactites hanging from it. <laughs> well, here, can I, let me, stalactites. Can I tell you, Artie? As a comedian, I'm going to tell you something. Hey neighbor, the shellac Do you find thing. it difficult to laugh at some of the comedy out these days? I think it's my uh, age, but are you finding some of these young kids not hilarious? Oh, my God. Hilarious isn't the word. I mean, it's like they're, it's like they're giving a speech about cooking or something. Thank you. Because I said, what is wrong with me that I don't like anything that's on TV about these younger people are oh, putting yeah. out the stand-up? Well, well, me and you are bitter. That's one thing. Well, that's it. And You're also, rich. You're rich. I lost it all because of my demons. I mean, uh, that was stupid of you. You never put... You never put Put fucking uh, eighteen thousand on the Giants. No, nor up my Parley. nose. No, well, yeah. Well, up Barty, my addictions were always food and the blacks, and I was <laughs> oh, smart enough God. not to lose money to the blacks. Oh, I was never addicted to the blacks. Okay, so you have to just, <laughs> and food isn't that expensive. Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I could, I, I could go, I could take it or leave the blacks. But, uh, <laughs> no, I did love them, uh, but uh, the food I loved too. Everything was oh, like, I, so I got good. fat on cocaine. I've said that that people yeah, think that's, that's a joke. That's not that's a joke. That's hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I've heard guys say they tried yeah. speed; it only made them eat the faster. Second you, you <laughs> second you do cocaine in any way, shape, or form, the first thing you got to do is take a shit. Yes. And then you you're not hungry, so yeah. you're expelling anything, and you're not eating again. This so guy how, gets fat. How the fuck do you? Well, that's how if you do heroin, you'd stay not constipated by doing coke too. Oh, there you go. Doctors never tell you that. Only a do. doctor would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here's the problem. Doctor never tells you that. <laughs> If you want to shit on heroin, do coke. (laughs) It's fucking simple. Taking a shit, by the way, is I hate to talk about taking a shit, but I have to. You've done it here. I think that the thing is, it's a very important thing to do, and they devalue it. I am told by my surgeon, oh, the surgery's easy. I'm sitting there after two weeks after the surgery, I didn't take a dump. Oh, wow. Oh, my own. It was like trying to shit a Toyota Prius. And then I get my first goddamn hemorrhoid dangling out of my asshole like a speed bag at a boxing gym. You know what? Hemorrhoid is my second favorite word that ends in roid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but that's like you know, you know, when a the lot worst. of these, and the petite girls uh, that that I've dated, they all have that Nutribullet, and they put onion skins and kale and oh yeah, 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 yeah. and they're like they weigh a hundred pounds. Well, and they shit. It sounds like James Conn getting shot in the Godfather. Yeah, yeah, I know. I take a nice healthy. I take a nice healthy one every day, Yo, night before the play. My shit is always bigger than my dick. God bless. <laughs> God bless. God bless. Well, here's how it is. Now in my God play. Bless. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only advice. Like Johnny does a line of that. <laughs> Fantastic, George. God bless. <laughs> Listen, let me we tell you it. something. Taking a dump, we've really sunk to a new low. Speaking of this, I think on the because air. it was uh, put in medical terms. Yes. A new low. Have you heard the show? <laughs> You would really need to go deep for a new low. You ever As take a bridge, uh, what, like, that bridges the uh, the whole toilet? Like, like uh, it looks like, uh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make I one know. bit of like, sense. Oh, it does, like, it bri- it's so big, oh. it bridges the toilet. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm and sick like of the them. Bri- the bridge over the river quiet. You pissed to blow the bridge. <laughs> you can't let the Russians across. <laughs> A play I do to help my uh, time on a plane. You know, Artie, it must be you must be able to earn that money back though that you lost because you're very funny and I'll quick. Tell, well, I'll tell the bookies. Listen, <laughs> I meant to bet the dolphins. <laughs> no, I'm. Making, do they go for that? Do they give you that once or twice? I'm making money. I, you know, I'm doing all right, but not what? like you know, I'm not doing Lampanelli money. Off, oh, off. Oh. What do you make a, a gig? Give me a guess. Listen, I these guess. people love to try to guess. There's a there's a range, as you these know, people, depending on these st- people meaning the blacks. Yeah. No. <laughs> I bet you make 60 grand, bitch. I can't have more Cheerios. <laughs> a brother can't have another fucking aspirin up in his mouth. Like aspirin. I got a headache, Lampanelli. Kool Aid on the sure, Cheerios. I, do I, I don't have to go to Buffalo in February. You do. That's what they forget. I deliver the meat. I deliver the meat when you get home. <laughs> I got a. I, I need. I can't Just get more Farina. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie Marling. Seventy grand, man. <laughs> You're doing the Jackie Martling impression again. That was pretty good. That's <laughs> uh, my black guy. Oh, oh sounded like more Martins. accurate. I, I want to do Sydney Poitier. It's not gonna be funny. <laughs> Now, do you date or do you just nope. like no. nothing? Nothing. Oh, oh, no Artie. desire. No desire to date. They're new. Oh, so nothing. it's not even a desire. No. And then these lesbians try to think just because I, I got they, the haircut, yeah, yeah, yeah. That they think they're going to sniff up in the punan. And here's the case how it is, Annie. I say, no, dykes. Yeah, no dykes. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. I'm not going to. What's the I can't have one dyke up in his mouth. <laughs> I said yes to the punan. <laughs> no, I'm not doing the Do that no more. No more. No I more. never even did it. Well, I figure if I hit 60 and I still don't have a guy, I jump onto the tuna boat. But before that, gone, before yeah. that you still oh, I got four that. more years. Four First more years. All, we should book ourselves as the Lampanelli twins. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at us. <laughs> you're the before, on, I'm the after. I put on the weight. I would assume you go up, you're on stage, you're killing in a room. A guy's going to come up and go like, hey. What am I talking to these guys? I have security. I'm backstage. What do you mean? Is Signing that it? fucking autographs. What I'm it? sick Fuck of being security. Yeah, what am I? What, what am I? <laughs> What am I signing uh, CDs after a show uh, like Rich Voss? Hermes handbag. What am, <laughs> what am I, an accessory? You know what my nightmare is? That that at my funeral, this? these are going to be my guys. Listen, who are those guys? <laughs> Bobo. Those are the bleachers. Oh, okay. So those guys come every day to the uh, to no. show. It's um, yeah, it's a coming years. <laughs> I love how, I love how the one on the top. I love the one on the top row. Said absolutely not. Like he's got someplace else to go. A little um, uh, anti-social no behavior way. over there. Just staying up in the corner. That's good. That's Bobo good. now over there. Now, did you cut your hair for the Halloween costume, Bobo? Yeah. Or uh, the uh, or the zap treatment. What's he dressed? Yeah, I thought up maybe for? it was for the fucking cuckoo's nest. Uh, no, 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 it was the Halloween costume. You got a mic right there, Bobo. What did Pull you it over uh, go as? Bobo? Yeah, what's your? I costume? went as the member of the Stargate SG One team. Stargate SG-1 team. Okay, sure. I thought it was science fiction. You should have went with a girl. (laughs) (laughs) Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Oh, good, good. You were a med hat, but your med hat would have been good, too. I want, yeah. It was a fig. (laughs) Yeah, 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 for the pink med hat. Uh, Uh, No, it was was very... It was very good. Um, We had had a fun time. 70 people's a big bash, Did you sing at all? Yeah, I did. What which songs did you do? I I did a fight for your right to party. Oh, that's his, that's his big hit. Wow. Okay. That's his big hit. It was a karaoke party. Oh yeah, karaoke Halloween. Did anyone do my wow. dick is so much bigger? Uh, I <laughs> I my wife left me for a. And then, <laughs> oh, that's a good one. A deep discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was great, Bobo. There, there's Bobo. Oh yeah. Uh, on the left. 
That's about the oh, look at you. Is, uh, Bobo, and then in the middle, yeah, what's Bobo's that? lovely mother, Aurora. Oh, your mom? That's, that's Bobo's mom. She's yeah. a very uh, pretty woman. That's, that's nice. That's a wig she's wearing for the costume. Oh, oh. You're kidding. You had to ruin say it. that, right? You had to ruin it and tell everyone she's wearing a wig right there. Are you Latino? But she does have hair. Are you Latino, Bobo? I'm, I'm mixed. I'm a mutt. Okay. Oh, he's a mutt. He's half Latino, half Met fan. <laughs> Patrice oh, O'Neill. Someone wanted Patrice in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the uh, pieces of artwork from his memoriam. Here's my costume on the top. Uh, stop it! Stop you, it! You're going as stop the it. little kid from. Oh my God! From the if you, if you, if you act kid. now, you get this adorable. Stop it! Anthony Cumia picture. Stop it! That adorable. Is, that is my favorite kid on TV, and he's I have adorable. no idea. I love him, and <laughs> even I the, have limits on no, what I will a make fun of. That kid, that kid has a podcast. He's got a little podcast. I'm gonna cry. It's adorable. He always, has, oh. he always has strippers on. It's called Nipples and Cripples. Oh, come on! It's that is my yeah. favorite commercial. Nipples and Cripples. Because they're always in a good mood. I love the commercials. Because you ever see the these same way. St. Jude's cripples. kids are always in a bad mood, though, St. Saint, Saint Jude's. St. Saint Jude's hospitals. They're always in a bad mood. St. Jude's. And here's what I have to say. St. Jude's kids, you can learn a lot from the Shriners, the Shriners kids. Because Jews. they're laughing and having a good time. And you fucking kids. Smile, you'll get more money. I said more money oh, than a kid with a half a leg. Yeah. Than a, the Giants. <laughs> oh. I love these kids. I'm not the, that even. was a guy who shot himself in the leg. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, one of their. Uh, cripples and cripples. One of their biggest Is contributors, that Shriners uh, Kevin commercial? Spacey. No, oh, stop. He goes, You'll get this That's adorable Kevin Spacey. I'm, I'm in Wost. I'm the next guy up in Waston Wonkers. <laughs> Nice dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Kevin, here's my dick. My adorable dick. <laughs> you have an adorable dick. <laughs> I That's now terrible. I'm gonna have to make no. a donation because these are Lisa, my favorite. Absolutely, kids. No. I love those commercials. I feel like so. Uh, it really makes any problem you them. have seem like. You know what the best right. nation is? Donation. Like I was complaining on the way here about I was screaming, going, "I'm 56 fucking years old, and I gotta beg for my own fucking dressing room with this play." Because right. when you're doing a play, there's a all. bunch of cunts sharing dressing rooms. Well, I shouldn't have to do that. I wrote it. I'm a star. Yeah. So I'm screaming about that. Then I see these fucking cripples. And I say to myself, okay. Lisa Lampanelli, they deserve their own dressing room too. They should deserve. Their you own know dressing. what? I'd share with that have to little share kid. With Kevin Spacey. No. Yeah. Oh, I, I did not uh, really. I, how did you get this job? I boo Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Listen, he said I'm adorable. I boo him. People do. You are in a play. I wrote it. Uh, stuffed. It's about food, body image. It's like a, a vagina monologues of weight. Oh but shit! But it's funnier. Better be. Because we got four real actors. They're from House of Cards, and this 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 orange is oh, black. He didn't even fuck he's up. Not gonna be busy anymore. <laughs> I heard. I heard they pulled House of Cards. Too. Yeah, well, I'm bummed really? about that. How about yeah. this big House of Cards. That's what he's looking at. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh. House of playing cards with the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> nice dick, you bet your ass it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's my go. play. It's me and them broads from Orange is the New Black and House of Lies. And I tell you what. Orange is the New Black. And even the Blacks <laughs> aren't. That's going to be my next play. It's about me going broke called Orange is the New Black. What do you play there? So that your hair is for the play then? No, my hair is like this for real. And they I, they made it work for the play. Oh, okay. But I do wear they a wig at work. one point. Oh, you do? Yeah. But it's, it's really funny, but also very touching. Didn't so you I know. Play? You wrote a couple. Did you write it's, I wrote a one person show, then this is the play expanded. How do you onto talk it. about uh, what? When you were uh, heavy? Fat. You Furniture put, is heavy. I okay. was a fat bitch. Stop on, trying to be you, nice. Do they put on a suit on you or something? No, you know what's funny though? At one point, we made they made a fat dress and it just looked like I was making fun of fat people. So they oh, said, you okay. know what? You, are. you could just talk. You know what I mean? I'm going to protest. Talk about it. If I have enough energy, I'll protest. <laughs> you won't. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Fat people do we, we're trying to protest. We, we, have, we have no feet from diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> we do talk about that on a boyfriend of mine who died because he got his fucking foot cut off. Oh, shit. This happens. What are you trying to do? Saving this, lives. He died because of the foot? Like well, he didn't die because of the foot, but he died from complications of Oh, fatness. complications. You dated uh, BB King? Up. Yes, I did. He was actually a white guy. Do you believe it? Really? And it was a white guy? And he was actually a really funny guy. It was this comic named Big Frank D'Amico. I know he was. Remember Big Frank? Yeah, yeah. He had those funny jokes on my girlfriend so fat we go to I that. half a foot. Half a fig? Half, half a foot? Yeah. I know that guy, half a foot? He goes, me and my girlfriend, we go to the beach. We don't use uh, Santan oil, we use barbecue sauce. Yeah. Wait, just watch out for a black guy on the beach saying, hey, look at the size of them ribs. You know, that kind of thing. 
<laughs> I mean, so, not a, wow. Yeah, so it was funny. He was writing jokes in 1928. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it was a lot of flim flam back then. I tell you, a flim flam. On stage. I know Demetrius. You know exactly who he was. Really, he's like a great comedian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he died. Yeah, well, this is what happens. You let yourself oh, wait, go. He's dead? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry oh, about that. Sorry. Uh, hey, what are you going to do? But it's a great story for the play. Joke I pretend. I pretend yeah. to be unhappy about it, and people cry. It's You're beautiful. Oh. People don't know that. Do they, do, it will, will people tear up when they go and see? Uh, it will, but stuff. mostly I got to be honest with you. It's will really effing funny. No, when I saw Colin Quinn's one man show, I was crying through the whole thing. I cried through the whole thing because I was so fucking bored. Oh. I gotta tell you, just oh, kidding, no. Colin. Colin has always been nice to me, and that's Colin's why I felt great. I could make a little shot like that. Because he'd understand me. Love, it's like uh He's you, too smart it's though. It's like a history teacher. Stop You're being smart. History teaches up there. Yeah, Stop cried, being that uh, smart. I cried through the whole thing too, but I because I, I had an onion on the burger. <laughs> but uh Colin has got four one man shows that are all fantastic. And all of them, if you pool all the ticket sales, it would equal one of Artie's shows. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Colin. Colin doesn't watch this. What am I fucking apologizing? No, to this you is for? not. He's not. He's not nope. watching us. He's speaking, not a subscriber. Speaking of apologies, do you know I was the only person I think in history to get an apology out of Patrice O'Neill before what'd you, he died? What happened? Ow. What did he say? Well, that fat fuck used to abuse me and be mean to me. Yeah. He called in a radio station. He said, "If I ever did anything to make you uncomfortable, I'm terrible." He's I hate, you know I'm what? I, I was Frank, that, that was Frank Caliendo. Oh, oh okay. see, it wasn't even really. Uh, see, Patrice. I thought it was Patrice. Because no, everybody loves you. You know that. That I mean, uh, Patrice. Was, that was almost his act too, you know. Yeah, yeah. He was good at insulting, like yourself. Oh, yeah. So he went at it. But I was, you know, still you're a lady. It's hard. A lot of female comics now try to be like men, and then, uh, then, yeah, then, then the when a guy thing. says a real right. insult, they go, well, you know. Now they get all pissed off. Right, you gotta right. Apologize to them. Well, because how about when they all get the roast too? They're like, oh, I can't believe you said I was old or fat or ugly. Oh yeah. Listen, there are categories to make fun of at a roast for a woman. It's whore, fat. Unfunny, unsmart, untalented. Oh With me, it was always horror and fat. Of I'll fucking course. take them. I'm not going to take unfunny and unsmart. Hey, of course, N word lover. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. That one too. <laughs> Mud shark, as we call it. I wanted to shark call years burner. ago when I used to date the Blakes. I used to really charcoal forget. I used to enjoy. <laughs> I thought one of my specials should be named "N Loving Fag Hag." Wow. Uh, been, my manager said no, and I can't believe it. That now, would have. Uh, would have really? gotten. Would have that was Netflix would have loved that. Who's your manager, Martin Luther King? PC <laughs> 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 police uh, <laughs> fucking. What? Can't call an album. You can't have the N word in my yoga mantra. <laughs> <laughs> My yoga mantra. <laughs> See, this is why I say, Artie Lang, get your shit together. I do. I Look right how there. smart it's you all are. Together. Anthony, all this Anthony, shit. don't you admit this is one of the quickest, funniest comedians on Fuck the planet? Yeah. You have no Absolutely. excuse for being the loser you are. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest Lisa Lampanelli compliment <laughs> ever. Of all time. You're, I could imagine. You're great. You have no excuse to be a loser. <laughs> I know that is kind of a backhanded guy. Well, no, I tried. That's the you try making excuses. You understand. Sure. You are fucking brilliant. Yeah. Well, I had to blow my mother. But who didn't? As a kid. Well, okay, this happens. Uh, but but you that, know, did I ever tell you I read your book in one fucking seating, dude? Really? It was so impactful. <laughs> Listen, I take a Long massive shit. You did say Took that. my bridge dump. <laughs> the bridge dump. <laughs> the bridge dump. I pissed it off with my uh, penis. Bridge over the river of Kwai. What you was your... What, that's what, very nice of you to say. It, it was awesome. And I don't like celebrity autobiographies because they hide a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. You I said, now I understand I always, hide my, I always have my coke in there, the book. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a good job. No, I, Salvation I, lies with... Within. <laughs> now you are you writing a book, Anthony? Yes, I am. As we speak. Well, listen. Like what? This. How much I love about you. I wrote your blurb, and the book isn't even out yet. I know it's, it's amazing. amazing. I didn't I even know that. Oh, I mean, I read the galleys, and they were terrific. It's uh, yeah. Well, no, I didn't actually say anything about the book. I just said how I to, like uh, you. The, the, uh, the publisher, publisher, and everything. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Good. I'm really happy well, about. It's a good thing. It's uh, I've talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, over the years on the radio and stuff, but there's something about in written form, yeah. you can be a little more detailed. And Listen, I can't wait names. to read it. I, I love it. I yeah, can't imagine. So much shit has gone on. I can't imagine you'd have much to say, but I'm going to read it anyway. Anyway, Morgan, right? Thank you. <laughs> you see Morgan's book, it doesn't, people say, you know, it doesn't read like he wrote it before the accident. It doesn't read like he wrote it after the action, it reads like you wrote it during the action. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, hand me that, a paper. That is great. That, that is hey, some Jimmy. review. Hey McNair. Yeah. This is the last thing you do. Hand me a piece of paper. When when the ambulance getting here? Cause I gotta uh, uh, jot down some ideas. Tracy Morgan Freeman was the character I got. I want you to have my daughter. I'm gonna get this truck pregnant. <laughs> 
his truck. Holy shit. He wrote, yeah, he wrote, it looks like you wrote this during your accident. <laughs> oh, my God. Artie, can I ask you one thing? Okay, I'm a loser. I get it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shut up. This Tracy Morgan thing you're saying, does any part of you, <laughs> does any part of you worry like, oh my God, he's going to hear this and be mad at me? You don't give a fuck, right? Uh, no, because, no, I don't, because we do, uh, he reads the transcripts, I think, and uh, he's not going to understand most of it. Okay, see, this is what I love about him. You got more balls well, than I do. Tracy I love that shit. He doesn't care about me. He's got $4 billion. He's got Walmart <laughs> oh, money. Oh, got Walmart That's true. Now. I'm, uh, I'm in a so fucking attic. I own half of Walmart. Do you, in a way, wish you had that accident Oops. instead? I would do it right now. I would too. I say it at every show. I, I say it at every show. If if anyone here drives for Walmart, stay up for another four, <laughs> 14 hours. I'll be at exit 8A at 10. <laughs> you could kill Matteris. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Who's missing him? Yeah, you kill oh, whoever's open. It. Yeah. You kill Joe Bumfuck from St. Oh, Louis. Oh, man. Now, Artie, why are you and I not doing shows together That's and true. splitting the income? That's I'll, be, I'll tell you why. Why? Because, uh, uh, well, uh, let's put it this way you're Kevin Spacey, and I'm the kid for who's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would do that in a second. I would uh, fucking yeah. love it. Because people have proposed to me to go on the road with me, and I don't like them. Oh, I don't like these people. I have to talk to them. You and me, we wouldn't talk at all. Well, let me see. Is it because... <laughs> we would come up the, there. The proposal usually goes like this. Yo, can I go on the motherfucking... Oh, road? this is the ro <laughs> This is how it would work. Here's the score. I'd have my fag go up to 10 minutes. Matt Arise, your <laughs> fag, would go up and do 10 fag. minutes. And they and say, Matt Arise, don't think of having an ego because you're not fucking drawing fag. anybody. Matt Arise, your fag. And you oh, would go shit. up. You'd do 20. I got to close. You close. Okay. You're the you best fucking ever. close. I'll All right, be, you go. Okay. I'll be jerking off at the Marriott by two. Okay, you you do 30 minutes, you get the I'll fuck out. I'll want. do 30, get the fuck out. Everybody's happy the fags close the show. <laughs> Jer uh, Matt Arise jerks off my fag. You gotta get a guy who looks like me in case I don't show up. That's true. Well, I got a couple of sisters. one of those doubles. And, <laughs> fucking yeah, I got a couple Saddam of Saddam Hussein had. You, you kind of look like one of my aunts. And if you were carrying two tins of olive oil under each arm, you would look like one of my aunts. Well, guess what? I am. <laughs> That's what, I am. what if I wasn't? Well, what, what, you have siblings who are heavy? and that are No, I do have a sister who's heavy, but guess what? She's the heavy girl who always liked herself, so she found a great yeah, husband who doesn't she, abuse uh, her. She, hey, I was, she figured out life, you figured out everything else. Thank you. That's you She figured out how to better. work her life to a satisfactory right. degree. Me, I'm fucking searching for happiness in this, that, the other. I could have been a fat cunt and been happy. You're fine. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Good luck with that happiness stuff. What is my end in this? What, that we would split it down the middle? Hey, what is my, you're going to tell throw, me the truth. You throw Matt Arise a fucking thousand. What's he making? A thousand? I yeah, right, I give him my fag a thousand. This, this way uh, he can make a third of his wife. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> it's doctor wife. <laughs> then my fag always does sound checks, so we don't even have to He's show up He's got a doctor early. wife. Your husband's Dr. J. Yeah. So we got, I think we got it made, Artie. So let's figure this out. Because I always no, liked you. Get? I still get, Listen. I still got quite a bit of money. All right. Oh. Because yeah. I bring losers to casinos. Pretty good. You know, I do that too. Yeah. I kind of like the casinos, the soft ticket, right? Right, right, Here's right. what we That's do. The best. We go, because you don't have to do radio to promote it. You fucking go in there and you make a ass load. Here's what we do. We go to loser towns like Des Moines's and shit. <laughs> and then, because neither one of us has a following in Des Moines's. I have a girlfriend there. Okay. So we go and we split the yeah. dough. I'll, I'll, I'll call somebody. I'm kidding. No, but I like Artie because wouldn't we be a good bill together? It would be a great bill. And also, yes. we don't need each other. No. We yeah. easily can make the money. You're not going to talk to me on the road. I'm not talking to you. Not going to be any of that drama. No, it's so horrible that like, you're losing the weight. We could have went on and done each other's act and see if they they noticed. Okay, well, oh, that'd be great. <laughs> now you're too skinny. Why don't you get skinny and better you're looking? You're filthy, Blake. <laughs> yes, Blake. I used to date yes, the sticks. <laughs> and you're filthy and you're grotesque. <laughs> and you steal. You Why steal. Why don't I get a Chicago uh, accent? Uh, give me 80 grand. <laughs> And I the, like Ari. When did you, funny as hell. When did you start your um, attraction to uh, men of color? Well, no, this was years ago well, years when I was ago. a fat broad, and I said to myself, oh, I could either get a hot black or Jared from Subway. Now, that was before uh, the pedophilia, well, when we thought he was just a chubby white guy. Yeah, like, right. I used to date guys who looked like that fat fuck who's on the top. Oh, my God. No, seriously. Like he looked around for someone. Yeah. Here. And so I could get yeah, yeah. guys who look like that guy or a hot Blake. You're shooting too hot high. Hot Blake. So it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like during uh, your your high school years. No, or something. 
I was oh, Catholic, so we weren't allowed to do that. Okay. So now you don't want a hot black, you want Lewis black. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now I don't want nobody, but but ever since I married Jimmy Big Balls, nice I have no man. problem with the whites. Jimmy Big Balls had no problem with the I had past no, history? Nah, because we knew it was all exaggerated. He knew I had one black boyfriend, then we, ah. and we trumped it up for the roast. I, oh, okay, all right. Well, so well, you know what? The new Rolex every fucking Christmas. And, and, no shit. You know, for me, one would be enough anyways. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Yeah, Anthony, now have you ever been married? Yeah, I have been. And what happened? It's known uh, as the Oxbow it, it lasted nine years. Oh. Uh, it was miserable from the day after my wedding. Wow. Uh, for nine years. Half of that, though, was spent when I had just gotten into radio, so I was, like, f full of fucking energy about yeah. that. That's like, the worst time, because now you're about to get famous. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what happened. Perfect and then, time for a man And to then her, her lesbian fucking genes started kicking Oy in. Vey. She wanted to have a threesome. Ugh. We did. And then I fucking went off with the girl with the threesome. You did? I stayed with her for nine years. <gasps> Are you still with her? No. That was uh, maybe. <laughs> that was sounded like an. Uh, it was good though. No, it was it was a great relationship. We had a great time and everything. I've like had that. girls who were lesbians uh, and uh, they thought I was a chick. It's like, where's your pussy? I've been looking for days for your twat. <laughs> Wait, your pussy, Joe Matteris. <laughs> oh, Matteris. Walmart Matteris. Listen, Joe's but fine. He's don't a, you? Oh, yeah. Let's call the FBI and. <laughs> Twitter followers. <laughs> he certainly, he's fine. He's he's fine. He's fine. Okay, the authorities These are involved. Needs uh -huh. another fucking pill. You know <laughs> Give him I, another. I want a windbreaker so I can blend in with the FBI when they arrest me. <laughs> Just go on the other side and go. This guy's <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta grab someone by the the arm. I can't. Yeah, right. In, in that yeah. windbreaker, and you're fine. <laughs> if, if I lit myself on fire like Daffy Duck, that guy wouldn't laugh in his <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. Just okay. one chuckle out Weed of the, the guy in the back. And Bobo's yeah. texting. That happens. Bobo's texting. Um. Oh, you okay? I'm okay. I was just reading something sent to me. Well, what did it say? What did it say, Bobo? Was it? Who who sent you something? No, no, it was it, no, it was just someone that didn't know I was here. Who's that? Oh no, it was just someone that was asking me something. Who? Bobo has had four new tweets in the last ten minutes. Oh, he's tweeting. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, Bobo, you come yeah, here yeah. just because it's air conditioned? No, you no. You sit around. Yeah, no. what about that? So you tweeted what about? I bet an insult to me. No, I didn't. I didn't tweet anything. All right. That's what he says. It's tweeting. Like, like, I didn't tweet anything. Any insult or anything. Any insults? Right? No. No. You are an insult comic. He's a tweet. A tweety uh, Don Rickles of tweets. He's there. Who's the guy next to him? Me? He's a yeah. fan. Yeah. Yeah, you look so much nicer than those other two. <laughs> Meaning, like, he doesn't look like. I no, wish no, you were no, black. Offense, no offense to you guys. You're great guys. I'm sure. But you look like a decent. He's here to give an interview being. about uh, when Why Kevin Spacey here? said he had a. a <laughs> could you walk? Uh, yeah, he you, definitely could have been. Adorable dick. Could you tweet somebody who doesn't know me and Anthony are here like America? Like all my <laughs> friends? <laughs> I'll tweet somebody who doesn't know I'm here. Uh, but us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that kid looks all right. Like, he could have been Cornhole. He looks Thank all right. Yeah, yeah. Get a room. <laughs> so I'm the result of if, that way. if Anthony never, if you were pissy eyes for the rest of your life, I think that's what I would be. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. guy's great. Dude. He I, said he was nervous. He's a funny kid. But, but uh, I, it's so cute that he's nervous. It I, is. <laughs> it looks like a winner. My dad called Thank me pissy you. eyes for a long time because oh, I would he? cry all the time. Oh, there you go. Wow, right no wonder you're that. like this. So, but, but then I, I finally got, I finally got mentally, um, Scarred enough where mm. it doesn't matter anymore. My father doesn't give a shit. My father called me that too, right after urinating on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pissy uh, eyes. Literally. Pissy you want to be shitty eyes, get the garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't care about anything enough to cry. So it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, oh, wonderful. How about vomit eyes? <laughs> how about pussy blood eyes? <laughs> how about jizz eyes? <laughs> jizz. How, about jizz eyes. how about back hair eyes? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be great? Now, don't take this the wrong way. Oh. But wouldn't this be great, just as a career thing for me, if Artie just died right after my segment? Well, I'm already itching. Well, because... Oh, Wait a minute. And then I would be like... Two deaths. Yeah. <laughs> listen. Listen, I a find it hard. Homicide. I find it hard to be humorous. <laughs> double comedy two side. comedy giants next to me. Oh, my God. Another fat uh, joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, well, no, we, we never hope to, for the demise of I don't hope, loved but, ones. but it would be real good for me. For you. Because then I could be like, given all these interviews to TMZ oh, and what it was like. And the, the the last, last, uh, I mean, I'm not exactly fucking uh, Will Smith dying here. Sure, they're not going to be shocked. <laughs> they would go, they would go, you know. It would be better if Anthony died. I th but I think it would be Probably. good if it was something yeah. like just uh, ridiculous. Him? No, like already, oh, did you hear? 
already died, and then it's like, yeah, he was hit by a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then you lived. <laughs> How about the uh, well? Uh, I was on the. Uh, they were on the air. Uh, uh, they really shut my death. I heard my actual death. Yeah, that's announced. creepy. That is creepy. That and is I, creepy. I was 34, and no one questioned it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like a shock. That's believable. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like my uh, joke about burning bridges, where I was in a crackdown and I burned Todd Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one. That could be true. Yeah, no one really like laughs crazy at that because both it, it could, just go. I think nobody he, laughs at all. I think he just means. No, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> How often do you write new material for your act? Oh, Just curious. Uh, about as often as I, uh, I don't know. Do you, I, 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 serious, seriously, yeah, about yeah. once every, twice every month I sit down and uh, I try to write stuff. And uh, I have one pen pal, Division of Motor Vehicles in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> we write each other a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I never write. In all seriousness, okay. it always comes to you like, well, and you try to oh, write you're it up down. There? No war, like when you're in life, you go, oh, that's funny, and you try to write it down. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's how I write. Why you sit down and never, purposely write? Never. Right. I go up. I gotta come and, to you. And you yeah, yell. I scream yeah. and yell about what happened that day, and if I take oh, it, it turns into a bit. On stage, I usually add to stuff, but the right. Thought so, yeah. Mitch Hedberg had that great joke where he said, uh, "He goes, uh, sometimes I think of something that's funny while I'm lying in bed, and the rest of the night I convince myself it's not funny because I'm too lazy to get up and yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Write it down. Right, right. Uh, that's when I think of oh, it. There's wow, not a pen yeah. or a pencil around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this sometimes it's the worst thing if you think of something funny, you write it down, and then it's just not funny. When you look at it, it happens yeah. all the time. Like that, yeah. Tweets. Yeah, yeah. The worst is a tweet can't come back. You're like, oh my God, that's yeah, horrible. Yeah. Oh. Well, tell me about it. Yeah. Like when you rant and rave <laughs> about your problems on stage and people are like, that's such rich white people like, shit. What? I really? know. Or it's, like, like about, uh, about how venti can't be called tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this for What's reason? wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not doing some shit a brother can recognize. Like, do you ever have a joke, though, that you know is funny, but you can't make work? Like, I once... Yes, I have I, a lot of those. They don't think it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have this one where this, I saw this old lady in an airport. She was a Blake, and she was trying to pull her luggage, but she didn't have, you know, roll or things on funny. it. So I said to my <laughs> assistant, I said, I said, you know how sad I was to see that? I said to my assistant, go help her <laughs> with that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now he was late with my coffee. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make that work. I have one. Uh, my favorite when... is uh, a, a, a terrorist uh, pulled the rotator cuff beheading a guy and he got Jihadi John surgery. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest joke I've ever written I in my bet life. that has a sports thing to it. Is Tommy that what John, that is? Google Tommy John surgery. Yeah. Oh! Kind of no sports. <laughs> You have to Perfect know who joke. Tommy John was. That is actually was. a great joke, but it's a lot of layers. It's a lot of layers. Uh, the funniest yeah. joke I ever wrote was uh, my... Uh, my friend has an 85-year-old uh, plumber who uh, who was in uh, Auschwitz, and uh, he's the most recommended plumber in the county. He was the only one to be on Schindler's and Angie's list. Oh, my God. That is so good. Like, it's so good you can't Schindler's, even laugh, and Bobo you just very good. are in awe and yes. say that. I see a bubble. So bubble tweet that. You could have it. And to bring a Schindler's list into a joke is just... Uh, well, that's a rough one to make like, funny because the Holocaust was supposedly bad. Is this funnier? My cousin was a pervert. He's been on Schindler's and Craig's list. No, no. The oh. first one nailed uh, Angie's it. List, Angie's list. Angie's list is a funnier list. Good. And also... How about, how about Joe list? How about you don't try to fuck with perfection? Ah. Uh. No, I know. Thank you. Oh, that was a great joke. Yeah, but you, you, you don't laugh. You say great joke. You're like, Bob well, no, 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 but the audience will yeah. laugh. Oh, okay. Well, Weird. they don't, though. They don't I get so mad at them. People don't laugh at some things like that. Then I say the N-word. I don't get it. Now, why is it funnier, though? Guys, tell me why this is funnier. Okay. Once I had the New York Post ask me for the best five comedies in the world. I was like, okay, uh, back to school, this, that, the other. And I go, and Schindler's List. Right. Nobody <laughs> will publish it. I put on Roots. <laughs> they put on Roots. Why is, oh, put roots, why is roots funnier than Schindler's List? Go. Well, because, uh, two words, LeVar Burton. Let me play it backwards. Okay. LeVar Burton is not as good. First of all, we believe LeVar, LeVar Burton became John Amos. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> that is true. You know what I mean? Like the, 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 the bad casting. Hey, he got older. He looks nothing like John I'll Amos. I'll tell you right. what. It's not believable. That motherfucker would hit me with the whip one time. I'd be like, Toby, Toby, Bobo, Bobo. <laughs> Oh my God! That guy's who's the joke is that? Guy, the guy who died of AIDS. Uh, Charlie Barnett. And Norton. Charlie Barnett. <laughs> Charlie Barnett. <laughs> Charlie Barnett was this black comic, a crackhead. Who, uh, he used oh to be, yeah. And his, his joke was, he goes, that guy Kunta Kinte was a tough motherfucker, man. That guy kept whipping him. What's your name? Tobin. No, it ain't. It's Kunta Kinte. What's your name? It's Tobin. No, it ain't. Motherfucker would have hit me one time. Tobin. Tobin. Bo -bo 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 <laughs> 
One good thing about crack, it brought the price of pussy down to $5. <laughs> Those are his two jokes. Wow. That is so good. That, got cut. No, that, that he did for that the, is the, really the interview with Letterman. Funny. It got cut. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I understand the price of pussy's been reduced. <laughs> yes. Uh, tell me about the price of pussy. You gotta... Has the price of pussy been reduced? Because uh, <laughs> get that message to the interns. Did you ever hear, by the way, did you ever hear, by the way, when Bob Levy tried out for Star Search? Oh, no, what happened? Oh, my God. Frank oh, D'Amico no. told me this story about they all go up at Dangerfield, and they're like, I did listen. hear a little bit of it. Yeah, the guy at Star Search is like, listen, just don't curse. Like, you got to be clean. And Levy's yeah, like practicing and being really excited. He goes, no, no, I can do seven minutes clean. No, Seven minutes. Oh, that's No hilarious. problem. They're staring at him. Yeah, yeah. The audience is saying, "Yeah, your mother's cunt." Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like well, he uh, he sent the your mother's day. cunt three and a half stars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Just don't don't try to shoehorn yourself. It's today. down to the guy with the dyed black hair <laughs> who says cunt a lot. Who puts and, uh, blue the, cheese uh, up his asshole. Sinbad. And an oriental <laughs> jump roping team. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know a guy named Ben Creed? Do you remember Ben Creed? Uh, the real Creed? Funny guy. The guy after the band, uh, the band Creed? No, 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 no. Ben the Creed. comedian, Ben no. Creed. Paulo's Hilarious, mom. right? Maybe I did. He was very edgy. He didn't give a fuck what anybody thought. Dude, one day Judy Gold is going up. There's a legendary story. You know Judy Gold, oh, that yeah. gargantuan cunt? Absolutely. <laughs> she, 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 she goes up and she goes to him, listen. When you introduce me, just don't say anything about my height. Right. She was very threatening. Oh, shit. Because she's like eight feet tall. Yeah, and he goes, yeah. I promise I won't. So he goes up and he goes, oh my God. what else can I say about this comedian except fee fi fo <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is that Judy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about Jay, Jay Okers used to play those black clubs in Philly? And he, to me, this is the funniest story. He was going to bring a kid, yeah. he was emceeing, and the kid, he said to the guy, What's your name? A black kid. He goes, Ignorant nigga. No. He goes, What? He goes, That's your, he goes, Can I just use your first name? Or, <laughs> so he says, Next guy, but he goes, and He says the whole thing, and the guy comes up there and goes, You going to let this white motherfucker insult me? Oh, shit. Oh, the that kid played him. Crazy. I love the fact that the kid was all Oh, joke. yeah. Totally sold him out. <laughs> Oh, they're booing Jay like, no, he don't have the motherfuckers <laughs> calling me a nigga. Oh, uh, my God, yeah. Is Pete Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I told the motherfucker that. Uh, that's great. That's the problem with Nick the DiPaolo, blacks. Nick DiPaolo had a joke about Bob Levy. He had, believe he would have jet black hair and his face would look like Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Nixon. His throat, you know, like old and jumping. So DiPaolo goes, you know, Bob, you know you got a bad uh, hair piece when uh, you ask someone to guess your age and the first guess is 28, the second is 72. <laughs> 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 Nice. Uh, this day, Levy doesn't get it. <laughs> this is well, an old joke aside. Bob it. Levy is one of the best. He's one of the best comedians I've yes. ever seen. He's he's a technician, and I, and I love the guy. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, yeah. I work with him a lot. Except I will say one thing about Levy that was fucked up. Okay, years <laughs> ago, <laughs> no, another thing. He's when I was. <laughs> <laughs> he wants, you know, when you're starting out, you pad your act a little with some joke jokes, you know, some parlor That's jokes. That's what I told this kid. Yeah. So. <laughs> adorable kid. Fuck it. I did a joke joke, and Levy comes up to me after. Right, right, yeah. I was MC, and he comes up and he goes, you stole that joke from me. <laughs> I go, I stole that joke from the world, you fucking <laughs> retard. It's a fucking, uh, my sister told me that at Thanksgiving, you dumb fuck. The guy's diary who wrote that joke said, discovered dirt, wrote this joke. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's adorable. Oh, no. Uh, oh, is he back? What channel do you really have on pushing, that this poor kid's really on every day? I got two words, buddy. Nice dick. Oh, my God. Uh, you know. See, now they're getting less cute. Guys, this kid gets more work than anyone I know. He really does. A lot of royalties for this commercial. Roll, rolling in. Listen. Rolling in. What else can we say right except? Shiner with a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> Stop with the blacks. <laughs> I feel so bad for the poor little kids. Well, we'll send money. Uh, you know? little pets too. You know, Artie's already like left little just dogs. now. By the way, Godfrey's uh, film now. I got to plug it. Oh, oh, Gil. Yeah, Gilbert's uh, yeah. film. Oh, good. I saw it. I, I mean, I'm in it for two seconds. Uh, but uh, me and the teller walk in the red carpet with him. Oh, and, that's great. Uh, Apparently, there's no red carpet. <laughs> All right. Uh, Maybe that's not so great. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's very funny. I, I, it's, named, it's, named, it's called Gilbert. Yeah, I, I saw the trailer know. for it. It just looks like, because not many people, unless you know Gilbert, know off stage he's a completely different person. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, yeah. When I, in 1991, I went to see Aladdin, and someone said to me, if someone said to me from the future, either the guy playing the genie or the guy playing the pirate's going to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Guess which one? Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I would have been 0 for 80. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Well, give me uh, a plug. Of course, the I great Lisa Lampanelli. At Lisa Lampanelli on Twitter. How great is she? Uh, of course. No, I love you. Insultcomic.com for your Lisa Lampanelli needs. Waited for Rickles to die to get that domain. Uh, <laughs> 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 I stole it from that Jew fuck. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> he plays Stuffed. There it is. West Side Theater. Very good. Yes, Running West over Side there Theater. now. We have our last preview tonight and then performances through February. So come see it. Go to StuffPlay.com for tickets. May I plug one last thing? Please. My podcast, Get Stuffed with Lisa Lampanelli. It is about me giving hard, tough love advice like I gave to Artie. About one, uh, you, from now on, the one thing you should iTunes. Your, how about your mouth? <laughs> you loved me, Artie, yeah, at I one point or another. No, listen well, for me on uh, iTunes. Fantastic. No, I love Artie. I love Anthony. I got to say thank you, you so seriously, much. man. This Absolutely. hour flew. I loved it. Love having you. Uh, and, of course, Brian Regan. We want to thank oh, I love that uh, guy. Brian. He's going to be at the Auditorium Theater here in New York. A lot of off-color jokes here today. But November 9th. I, that again. It was Brian Regan like I've never seen him before. He said faggot a that's, lot. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, they, <laughs> and Carnegie Hall, November 11th. Woo! Uh, and his uh, special, Nunchucks and Flamethrowers, throw coming out on Netflix on November 21st. He's, He's opening for Arsenio Hall. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> That's really different. <laughs> Crazy different. Uh, tonight, Crime Report. Just Crime Report with the wonderful Mr. Pat Dixon. And uh, tomorrow, uh, our regular uh, Tuesday programming. Morning uh, at 1030, In Hot Water at 2. And then uh, the Artie and Anthony show and Eastside David 7. What a great, great uh, time we've had today with the wonderful Lisa Lampanelli. Thank you. You guys are the best. See you back here tomorrow. Thank you so much. Arrivederci. <laughs>